Akio setups, they have to set up very differently compared to the rest of the cast, especially when it's backed with uh, the 2-2-X series from Akatsuki that makes those web setups in the corner very difficult to do. But for Kuon here, uh, still learning very much about this character, so I'm really curious to see how Akatsuki navigates this one. Squish, very explosive, like you said, with Akatsuki. Has been a threat, a growing threat in Uniclear for sure. Yeah, let's see a game number one here. Mm -hmm. Or you have a starter. I do love this 6 -C, jump 6 -C carry off the ground here now with Akatsuki, a brand new addition for this character. There we go, DP Rock. Trying not to be too greedy out of the corner, but a run of DP instead keeps you locked down. Really trying to keep things at bay with shield here. A couple green shields out there, so Squish might be paying attention to it. Not able to get the pickup off this fireball in particular. What a challenge of the charge jump C. There we go, finally getting some screen space as well. Clean on the cycle. Yeah, a nice lead here for Masoba and Griv. We're going to build up some meter on top of it to catch up in the resource game. And already took advantage because of that backdash from Squish. Oh, but barely snuck in to take advantage of that warp with a single step is all it took. Good change shift with the delay to beat ahead that Masoba's going to get opened up by. Yeah, and the whip Tatsu as well into the EX cancel, right? It's all good, just whipping straight in your face, but keeps the pressure on Squish. Takes the first round. Yeah, very strong round here from Squish. Uh, Masoma definitely caught on a back foot, but this time around starting out pretty okay here. We should have a good Oki set up after this knockdown here. Well, just pressure for the corner into a sneaky throw. He's expecting disc here, like we have in this situation. Harry will absolutely get called out. Masoma ready for this wake-up interaction. Yeah, caught up on the disc, Oki. Now, not a lot of health left to your name. Trying to shield your way back. Oh, now it finally gets the dash up 2A. Yeah, it's very sneaky. Movement is the king of the game here from Squish. Like, if you're looking for exceptional movement, Squish does represent that in spades on Akatsuki, but the catch up low, interesting. There we go, end the round with the slide. We're one apiece right now. Trying to put one on the board. Flow into the slide as well. It's so tricky, right? You see Masoma flying high in the sky, and you're like, all right, time to block a dome. But instead, he takes his way all the way over to the other side. Grid break on the shield. Yeah, that is unfortunate time. We've got a couple parries. Try to sneak in. Maybe a Tatsu there, but opened up after the second with a 2A from Masoma. Good. Strip here. Nice. Infinite work. No, no, it's a kill. IW's doing yeah, a lot know. more damage in, uh, in Uni 2, but not quite enough to kill. Tech throw. Squish does not yeah. find the game, and it's the DP to seal out game number one for Masoma. Yeah, if you're spending an infinite worth around that uh, point, you can expect a lot of players to hit around the 4K damage mark. That's usually kind of the goal you want to hit if you're ending with an infinite worth, especially if you're spending 200 meters. You darn well better make sure that counts for that amount of health at the end of it. Nice assault from Masoma to start things off here. A very risky fireball from Squish. Yeah, bold ground start there, immediately making your way all the way over to the other side. Masoma, looking strong in this first round here. DP makes your way back on out. Two way to try and win something out, but no. Yeah, we tried to go for that charge C again, the charge jump C rather from Squish, and that's not going to work out. It does get the uh, guard crush, quote unquote, like the knockback that you usually get that can extend the combo there if you try to open up. Nice, a couple shields back. Nice back throw. Yeah, back throw instant. Still, Squish has a lot of HP to try and make up here. Guard thrust barely gets to your turn, but still gets punched back into the corner once again. Top two in the corner. There's that charge C. We're still A okay here, trying to call out maybe on a Bari attempt here from Masoma. Has to be so careful. That's the big one. Dash. Oh no, the 6 6 C. It wasn't supposed to be. Uh, another overhead on the other side. I think it was yeah. supposed to be B Tatsu because we expected right off the uh, overhead to get that pick up there. But immediate spend, that'll be 4k damage off a single crush. Uh, the classic. Man, that air fireball earlier was so smart, but this time staying right in range for the DP. It's a side swap with the teleport from Asoma. You're holding on strong. Nice delay to A. Yeah, Ooh, the slide from downtown. You just can't be trying to backdash when I know darn well Squish wants to out of that situation here. Just get a bit more room for Akatsuki. Oh no, another grip break. We're in trouble here. We don't have any sort of Vorpal. We weren't even close to winning the Vorpal cycle here. To expect maybe a 2-2-A escape and to change the cancel. But the... Oh, you tried to air shield, but we got Akatsuki butt. Good trade here in favor of Masoma though to get that space. 
Yeah, exactly. It gives you a lot of room to try and wait out the Spirit Break, but instead, trying to bring the battle to you, tries to float right above the air, but Squish brings you back down to Earth. Are you going to be able to kill off this? You seal out the round, but it's still set point for Masoma. And again, this is a top A qualifier as well. They're fighting for your way to stay on winner's side. Way buttons here. Very good patience. Gonna go for the five B, but opened up one more time here. These delay buttons so difficult to deal with. And yeah, it does seem like you're kind of trying to feel out this match in particular. Uh, yeah. Very few Kuons out there right now. Like definitely, folks are really trying to, uh, uh, you know, feel out the new character. From the Soma, strong lead. Yeah, exactly. Not familiar with the disco key. Did not realize it would be DP safe. A lot of damage taken on Squish's side. Still, it's set point. Next hit, you should be able to kill. You build up the 100 after this as well, so an EX Ender might spell your doom here. No! Whoa! IW through the meat. He just smashed it on through, but Squish, you still got a uphill battle here. The block on the wake up. But yeah, the float, so tricky. Very tricky way to thread the needle to open up Squish with that opposite side to a Toxic here for another top A qualifier. Yes, indeed. This neutral game is going to be very interesting. Yeah, I mean, Byakuya, of course, going to have the better reach against Nanase. You do have to worry about some of these force function opportunities from Nanase and even some of these wind fireballs. Swift throw doesn't get challenged, though. Okay. Jump on in. 2A finds the hit. Ooh, that's a big drop, though. Still stuck in the corner there. Yeah, this is tough for Byakuya to get out of these corner situations. We'll need to rely on some chain shift opportunities and try to set up a wet there. We're going to play the tug of war, but Toxic definitely going to lead out with it. Jump for the wet. That hit will remove the wet, though. So jump on over to the other side here. Bring you back to the corner. Bring us back to thanking Solaris for the sub. Thank you, thank you for the support. Ooh, early drop out there. Doesn't have an opportunity to go for web setup, but this one will do. Just mid. Watch the overhead low mix. Oh, my God. Byakuya is still just as terrifying despite these changes here coming into the game. I haven't been able to explore too many of the changes for Byakuya, but every character got something new in this version of the game, and it makes them all so much more terrifying to deal with now. Uh -huh. I think Byakuya's new tool is the, you know, 2-2 two -two series, the claws coming out from the ground, but Big Black hasn't even needed to use it so far. It just keeps Toxic locked down in the corner yeah. with the web Oki for that first round. Yeah, we only saw the one, right? The 2-2 two -two in the corner after we had that knockdown for throw. Yep. Welcome to Salt there. Yeah, we'll see him to go there. Yeah. Oh, ducked a little bit early, but good tech. Here, goes with big damage out of it with another win setup. Tried to take the disguise against Big Black. The score is not 2 0, mind you, it's 0 all. Mm -hmm. so, so one here. Yeah, big Black paying patience, but still gets caught up by the 2A. Finally, mm -hmm. the defense gets opened up by Toxic. Should be able to cash out here with the IW. Does not want to have to worry about Big Black bringing it back here. Seals it out with the meter. 1 1 each side. Yeah, I mean, Big Black has a ton of tools on their side. Ooh, with dive kick will be a good punish here from Big Black. We will corner carry. Web setup imminent here. I think we're only going to go for the one. No, we got the super. May as well, you do have that, and you're about to win Vorpal, so you're going to get that meter back if you end up chain shifting after the cycle. Yeah, just keep them locked down. Force Toxic play a little patient here. Scared of the web, just staying right behind it. How are you supposed to swing? 200 meter once again, like you said, right? With the chain shift that Dash C keeps you locked down for another focus. Yeah, this is a brilliant position here for Big Black because Nanase has to try to interact. Ooh, good block in the overhead. Very cheeky. Um, yeah, it, that's the thing, right? You have the web right in front of Nanase. She needs to try to get a fireball out. You can go for sword card and deplete it out. But the way that Big Black is staying at mid screen is going to interrupt a lot of the startup from Nanase here. Well, there we go. I like the delays Ooh. from Big Black here. Trying to, you know, be a little too greedy with the shield. To try and win the cycle, but still Toxic runs away with another Vorpal. Now your back's up against the corner. Lots of work to try and even up this health lead, though. Full screen situation. Ooh. Yeah, there's that new, new move for Black. Just what he needed. You know, if we were stressed out enough from Yakuya, he's got one more thing full screen to come on. I got also, one more in me. That new move, you know, it's like you're saying, right, Byakuya has a lot of great normals, a lot of great set play already, and then you're like, oh, full screen? I'm cooling, dude. I can do sword car. I can put on my projectiles. You land into the closet. You're like, wait a minute. All right, you need to a whole different game and a whole new game here for game number two. All right, just go for assault jump in here. Ooh, nice delay low. 
Toxic does win this corner position, and we definitely want to keep it. We're about to win that Vorpal Cycle. There we go. And we let go of the combo a little bit early to guarantee we're going to get that. It's getting close. Oh, cycle. oh, but that is a lot of grid for Big oh, Black. No. Clear and Warple, right? You don't get quite as much grid. Tried to CS to take it back, but no, this is going to be Celestial for Big Black. 12 grid blocks in the bank here, so I'm definitely going to cash out. Yeah, Celestial, the brand new mechanic for this game. Increasing your damage even more than what it does in regular Warple. Oh my goodness. Also gives you that uh, additional reset if you change shift it's about. You get a ground bounce reset. Also the uh, the aerial timing reset, I believe. There we go. Finally spend it. Chain shift. Stall out. Yep. So he's not even just trying to be BM, right? You want to wait for that meter to come back. Yes. Now we're going into this potential last round with 200 meters to your name. There we go. Single web in the mid screen here. Only get to a little bit of stagger pressure, but still. Trying to keep Toxics on his toes here. Does not get opened up on a sword card. Whoa. One more time to carry over to the corner. Plenty of meter to spend this. You do have Warpal to rebuild back. Stagger right on top of this. Caught with the low and popped right into the web. Yes, that's a good throw position here. Great awareness for Big Black. The classic here. There we go. 200 meters to your name. Cash out into the IW. No, instead. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Big oh, Black a little earlier than I thought. I thought we were going to, you know, CVO into the IW, but instead Toxic gets one more chance at life. Throw tech to alive for now. Yeah, we already had uh, Nanase locked into a web, so you're not going to get that opportunity there. It's going to knock right back down. Ooh! Two A! There's no way you bring this back. Hey, okay, lots of work. We got our first Vorpal cycle here. Yes! Goes for the win cycle. One more time in the corner. We need one more route, and Toxic can close the deal out. Oh! Wait, we go for Veil for extended damage. I don't know. Bloody I don't think he kills, but maybe I'm wrong with the increase. You need two damage. It, it doesn't. What? Yeah, so no chip here. You are one pixel away. Oh. The throw. Oh, my Jeez. goodness. Uh, someone in the chat asking, is damage in Uni pretty low? I mean, we saw a couple of resets there from Toxics to try and keep Big Black on his toes, right? And that's what you need in those kind of clutch situations. Not able to kill with the IW, but seals it out on the scramble. It is still set point for Big Black, but that's a lot of mental momentum for Toxics. Nice. Yeah, that was unfortunately a guaranteed uh, tech opportunity right there. Uh, you see that yellow string, you have extended time to do it. Yep. Plus, you see the yellow circle with reds, and that's a bad time for you trying to protect a little bit too early. Uh huh. There we go. We've got the web set up in the corner. The charge to pick up a little bit more. Well, you got chain shift. You got all the meter in the world. As long as you don't drop yes. this IW to close it out, Big Black steals it 2 0 to move on to winners top eight. Yeah, that was definitely just a mistake in the corner for Big Black. It was yeah. supposed to be, like you said, the CVO just to go for the infinite worth finish. That's the super, right? Eight qualifier. Uh, That's all we're going to be getting to start things off on the stream, folks, is top eight qualifiers. We only have one or two matches in the background here that will not be top eight qualifiers on stream. So here we go. Exactly. Straight into the action. Game number one, Mario already starting it off the double buff. Our stagger A. Oh, goes for the assault, expecting a low. Gets the walk out off of the dash through. Highlight healthy on the grid meter right now. Should oh, be able yes. to screw this other cycle as well, even with the DP. That was very good. We don't want to go for the flips here for Conan. Not at all. I don't want to deal with that overhead. For That's crazy as an overhead, too. That always blew my mind in the uh, previous game. Yeah, right? Ooh. With the geyser, project down to the whip, closes out round number one. Mm. Full screen situation here. Has to be so careful. Assault in for free. Nice stuff here. Go oh, the triple back. assault. You're trying to get as much grid as possible. Mario knocking on the door. Is anybody home? Silent holding on strong with the If it wasn't for that assault in, we would not have won the cycle right there. I'm paying the price bit because he did give up that position it makes it uh, a little unsafe and now we do have the side swap nice Ooh. patience here from silent the do nothing calls out the bail off and this is a big punish yeah sometimes the strongest move in your arsenal is just to wait right wait for your opponent to make the mistake we got the steer ender canceled into the iw it's a lot of damage taken from mario and another whiffy beat 
Alright, there we go. What a turnaround for Silent there to dominate in the corner. Normally you do see Wagner is kind of owning that corner position. And I think that was the big blunder there was that assault. Yes, you won the cycle, but you lost corner position before that because Silent was ready to block high on the approach. Right, well, we got the carry, able to poison if we want to. Does not work out so, so well here uh, for Mario. Speaking of working out well, these 25 Whoa. gift subs from Orphan Fight are working out well for the Tampa Never Sleeps community. Thank you so much for the generosity. And if you guys got a gift sub, make sure to send some love. But Mario needs some love right now to try and get out of the corner down to 50%. Gonna lose the cycle as well here. How do you escape? Yeah, you kind of have to hope on this next interaction. You're going to be guessing right out of the Oki situation. We're going for as much damage as we can because that kills here. 5,000 damage from Phonon. I'm still not quite used to Phonon being able to deal that much damage right now. I'm sorry. But she's yeah. had damage in the past, but this is just... Oh. Yeah, damage overall across the board, you know, increased in Uni 2. There were some adjustments down, you know, for certain moves, but overall it's going to be, you know, two to three touches, depending on the meter situation going into it, but going into round number two. Mario has the full bar, trying to play a little bit more patient here. He can poke any holes in Silent's defense. Woo! That's great, but we go for the veil off here to get our grid right back and even things up on the purple cycle. All right, Silent, definitely taking charge. Not quite spending it yet. You might want to. You still there at the last possible second. Goes for infinite worth at the ender. <laughs> Yo, all right. I oh, that's that. nasty, I'm sorry. dog. I'm sorry. You jumped your way out. Yeah, yeah I would play too. too. I quit too. I'd be like, all right. Yo, you if got that's it. how you closed out the set, I'd be like, all right, bro, I'll see you in losers. You got it. It's another sub. Alex the Maestro for the tier ones. Thank you guys for the support. Right. Yeah, so battle of some uh, zoning as characters, especially Landrakia. Very interesting uh, forward approach for a lot of uh, what Landrakia can do. Plus that, uh, you know, round loss mechanic on top. So, oh no, excuse me. Actually, I've mixed that with the. Uh, I mixed that with Melty. Oh, the other ice bad, of Melty. I was like, this is familiar, but I was like, this one has I get it, right? They both have the. We see the fire and ice on the screen. Yep. With French bread property, but speaking okay. of the ice, right now we have the shock state here, or the ice state rather. Mm -hmm. For any way to try and proc it, get that freeze. Yeah, that'll be important <laughs> here. All right, nice jump out. Ooh, good DP. Oh, there we go. Saw the red flash, so immediately looking for the DP Lunar, trying to hold on here. This is scary for both of these characters, right? They have zoning tools, but they also have ways to try and force their way in. There we go. Set the disc. Go for the empty low. Very good. Actually, try to get that reversal opportunity. It did work, right? So you go for the uh, chain shift to get a little bit of vulnerability, see what the opponent's doing. Go for that DP to push. But, uh, yeah, the pressure that Lunar have with Kuan. Difficult to deal with right now. Full screen zoning, right? To sit here, concentrate, and charge up to win this cycle pretty handily. Nice yeah. EX fireball here. Damn, and the Wrecker, right? If you guys aren't familiar with Lon, how much corner carry does he have? Yeah, he could do corner to corner to corner if he really wanted to, but Deffy is going to keep you over here locked down in this East Coast where it's cold. You got the ice state on you just looking for any way to try and freeze you. Finally gets opened up in the low Wrecker. Got the setup, of course. Just one more touch to really get the kill here. Nice! Goes for low 2A after. Little concentration, it's not enough to win the cycle here. But Lunar, barely any help to his name, locked down with the ice blossom. How are you supposed to make your way out? Are you trying to save this 200% meter? Yeah, didn't want to swing with the DP, but instead swung with the 2B. There we go, get the side swap. There we go. Yeah, I, okay. I, I missed out on the fact that we didn't have any resources in that corner interaction after Defiant got the freeze. That's why we didn't go for kill right after, and that small nice. charge was right there. But yeah, if we had the resources, we could have sent it. Another route would have kind of carried a little bit, but definitely focus on the cycle there for sure. We still won on top of it, but still a close call. Exactly. Lunar yeah. looking up on the resources right now, blocks the cross up, and no, again, another JC just knocking on the door. Speaking of resources, J-Rox, I saw you with that gift sub, dropping the resources as well. Lunar dropping on the HP right now, getting pushed all the way over Ooh. to the other side. Yeah, nice chain shift from Lunar to steal the turn, and now we got that solid side swap with the... Oh, you thought you could jump that two-way? My god. See, I thought the Disco Key was going to help out a little bit here, but Defiant still defying all odds with this DP. Nice jump in. Yo, the Force it, Function forced her way out of the yeah. corner, said, nah, 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 let me get some pressure of my own. Deffy takes game number one.
Yeah, that instant overhead there from Deffy was Those insane. Guys. Like, that's, oh, yeah. look, Mondrakia definitely looks more messed up in this version of the game yeah. than <laughs> they did in uh, uh, Clear. He's pretty good. Yeah, we haven't yeah. even seen the uh, the Ice Rain, the new move that Lundrakia yeah. has as well. But again, another one of those moves that's really good for keeping up space control. But instead, Deffy opting to just get in Lunar's face every time. Already down to 50%. That is a drop into a side swap too. But it's up. Damn, you blocked the cross up record. <laughs> All right, you got it, dog. Look, we may have dropped it, but it was all according to plan. What a block on the DB. Yo, I'm packing this up. I don't want to block this. <laughs> all according to Kaku, bro. You were ready for that DB. Oh, there we go. Finally, the ice rain. Yeah, you had the meter going into that second round, so immediately trying to get your advantage, get the plus frames. How do you do that? Right? Like, Landrakia did not have all this in, in clear, and now Landrakia <laughs> looked like a whole different animal. Yeah, definitely a, a strong character. And like you were saying, right, someone underdeveloped because of how, you know, the state of the world shook up. But still, Deffy trying to put Landrekia on the map right now. Frozen Ooh. out of the DP. Lunar has to eat this IW and get sent down into the loser's side. It says, see you later. Nice to meet you. There we go. A clean 2-0 from Deffy. Sealing it out. Yeah, honestly, just... You're right. The underdevelopment from the, uh, you know, due to the pandemic, but also Ladrick, it was not moving like this. Back in the beat. He's already got everything, but they gave him a beat. And now they give him more. Like, this kid just keeps growing. Eating his uh, green vegetables, everything. Exactly. The protagonist got to have his sensu beans. A new tool on deck here with the empty low. From Skyblaze all the way over to the corner. Oh, yeah. Definitely in trouble in this corner situation here. Going to be applying that chip damage. Uh, with the, you know, Warple trade on top of it. Uh-huh. Little extra damage. Secures oh. out the cycle once again. Oh, hops on oh, over, oh, blocks oh, the cross-up, oh. though. No, Skyblaze is too nice for this. Yeah, I mean, very good block here. We also got to give a little bit of credit to the help from the uh, cross-up assist here. Yes. Um, gr I don't want to take that away from Skyblaze, because that is a tough situation to try to get out of, but you definitely get a little bit of help in this game. Exactly. Not all side swaps are something that you have to block on the correct yeah. side here, but again, Hyde is doing a really good job of just tossing out these projectiles. Skyblaze looking for the sword thrust, but occasionally getting caught out on the approach, but finally brings Hyde over to the other side. So it does lock it down here. You know what? It's crazy. It Because that's Xanatos, isn't it? So Xanatos, it is, yeah. yeah. So Persona 3 just came out. How about that? Yeah, repping the reload right here, trying to re-up. <laughs> High up the round count right now. Skyblaze, damn, spends all the meter to seal it out. Says, no, 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 Hyde. I know you got it in you with the comeback factor. I'm fine with spending the resources to make sure I make it to round number three. Oh, geez. Had a little bit of charge. Wasn't able to get the Persona out in time to shield out the Fireball. We try to mess with the jump arc with another <laughs> Persona summit. Good. Go. So we got Thanatos from the top row. Blocks out the DP as well, but you still have the EX cancel. Spend the 100 bar to make yourself safe. Keeps on going. You want corner carry? We got Hyde bringing us all the way over. There we go. Just waits it out. Spacing trap there. The big counter hit starter for Skyblaze. They're on their last legs after this combo. He's sneaky throw. Of course, gonna get the wall splat combo going. We do have 200 bar. You better spend yeah. it. Close it out just to make sure it's all clean. Game number one over to Hyde. Yeah, Hyde's definitely a, a, a stronger character. I, I just. Uh, Yo, Xanatos is a real name. Where is Xanatos from? Does someone Yo, help me out with that Xanatos? one? Because I knew it was sleepy over here on the side. Xanatos is gargoyles. It's gargoyles. That's why I said oh, it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Close, but not quite. The Persona Xanatos pulling up here for Skyblaze. He's trying to get something started here with the 2 2. Not going to find his part. Damn, that's Sword Reach. All right, that's delay pressure. Got to keep the thrust going. It's not Hyde's turn quite yet. The cross up doesn't even work out for him. Yo, that DP was real. Dash up. Okay. Hi. Ooh, run up for the 2A. Bad out of the row there. I think he tried to swing a 2A. I saw that punish over on the other side. But speaking of, brings us all the way over to the other side. Crosses on through with the creeping edge. Okay. There you go. Bring it down. Yeah, of course, you have to hold the Oki here with the Persona Summon, but the Orbital does find the Ooh. connection. Nice chain shift, though, from Hyde to carry. Look, how are you going to enter as Hyde, play Hyde? Do a real one for this. 
That's what I'm saying, dog. They, they have it in their tag. You're like, all right, this guy loves the character. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do to hold on on set point? Here you go. A little assault. Jump C. Going so high and healthy on the cycle right now. That's a lot of shields for Skyblaze, but still gets caught out on the roll. Yeah, we're still going to get the Vorpal cycle for Skyblaze. I'm surprised we have a Zomb for the EX. Yo, 2A was already active. There's nothing you can... I'm surprised Skyblaze has put the EX reversal here. I'm saying, ooh, tried to go for the Pogo, but instead DP finds its mark. Thanatos on the way down. You got to be careful for the down B. Hide. A character that needed no assistance. Damn, they added the CEO Taku as a, as a stage in Uni 2. Yo, so much of that. I'm like, the window? is absolutely the window. Yeah, you can't tell it's me so otherwise. Good. You put them side by side, they look exactly the same, but Carp bring us over to this left side here. Trying to corner Onyx, dude. Nice. Yeah, it, it's going to be a tough play. You would think that uh, Merkava would be able to kind of challenge that full screen game against these Rhea, but you also think about her like, corp, or, uh, corpse function that helps out with yep. a little bit of parry plus her reach uh, with the sword normal that she does have when she goes into stance. She can reach out. Like, look at this. You jumped? Don't worry, I got EX Flurry for you. You're good. Ooh. That was a clean first round, the perfect on the side of Carp here. It's easy to say like, oh, Yusuriha, I'm used to her being a zoner. And used to thanking Eric for the $50 into the match. You know, thank you so much for the generosity. Holy. Yeah, so Merkava with only one reversal that we can look forward to, and that is a meter requirement. But yeah, even flying in, could to get sniped out of the sky. Carp, massive pickup for this one. Yo, and a massive contribution as well from Teiji. Another $50, $100 in the past 30 seconds, and 150% damage from Carp in the past 60 seconds. Just laying on the hurt for Onyx Dude, but finally, like you said, that 2 3 6 speed, the metered reversal gets you out of the corner. That's not enough. Oh, careful on those shields. That is a risky business here, but we do get the beautiful 6 seed there. Yeah. There we go, finally getting something started here, 2 3 6 at the kids. Bad Bulls keeping it locked Lucas. down. Lucas keeping it strong with the $5. Okay. Great camera work, Lucas. Same. Bringing it down. Yeah, of course, you do have meter. You can send this if you want. Oh, just goes for the Oki setup here with Worm. Yeah, gotta block, respect this pressure. Oh, that's tough right there. Yeah. I'm not really sure what you could really do outside of that situation because you already have worms on top. You're going for the 2A stagger to try to get Carp caught amongst the worms. But Carp was willing to kind of just chill out and block. He didn't want to give up a, maybe an instant overhead uh, opportunity, which Kava doesn't really have those, to my recollection. Yeah. So you just looking you have for a couple a overhead text, right? But, yeah, yeah. But Carp's defense has been so good. And you know. Even the offense, right? It's easy to say like, oh, Yuzu's just going to zone you out. It's going to be, you know, so many full screen normals versus full screen. But instead, Karp is really taking the fight to you immediately, slashing at the skies here. Watching a Ruru Extreme earlier, and they were like, oh, you play really aggressive. Is there a reason that you do that for Yuzu? And he's like, well, when you play zoner Yuzu, you have to be right a lot more. You know, if you're wrong on catching their approach, that's so much tempo you lose, so much screen control. But if you play a little bit more aggressive, or at least try and work that into your game plan, then they have to react to you. So being able to yeah. balance both the whip slash into the counter hit low as well. Carp runs away with it again. Saga respecting the sword normals, but the teleport comes through, catches Onyx unawares. For the Ender, spend the EX, right? Because you just used Chain Shift. You get so much of that meter back anyway. And now you got 150 going into the potential last round. Ooh, there we go. Hello? Yep, yep. Ways there to wrap things up. We, bail off. we got EX waiting in the background. See, that's a that different timing that we were looking for in the last setup that Onyx had. We can sneak in that command grab, get a little bit of damage and set right back into the corner, but the timing's a little tight on that. Goes for chain shift just to assess the situation. Great call from Onyx to defend here. Yeah, yeah exactly. No medium right through your name, so you can't even reversal. Goes for the dive. Ooh, okay, okay. Axe off. <laughs> 
Asure, the sticky hand from downtown, puts around on the board here for Onyx, dude. Still set point for Carp, but seeing some signs of life. Through, there we go. Bouncing off the walls with his 200 meter. Shield complete for Carp. Yeah, that was great awareness here from Carp. I mean, that's you know, probably the OS attempt right there. Yep. Wait it out. Let's see what we got going on here. Do we bait out a shield? No, instead the immediate dive kick. From 2C to get out of this corner here. Yeah. Got the chain shift to build up the meter for the next cycle. No shot. Swipe them off the screen, said, no, 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 this is not a daycare. Still trying to seal it out. Jumps over the fireball. Shift into the swipe. I wonder what we got there. I think we might have caught the backwalk from Onyx, dude. You had time to react to the strike, yeah, but it's totally a great call out. Uh, Lukey Clock is the uh, the tutorial for Uni2 it teaches you everything for uh, fundamentals of fighting games. It's a great one to go through. Uh, all right, whoa, whoa nice the deep delay. The minus Get frames, yeah, yeah, another one. Last keep oh, on the cruise. Wait out the DP. Oh, looter. Nice to it. Go set the blossom. Tap on the dome with the 5A. No, didn't believe in the hit. So it's actually a chain shift to make your way back on out. Goes for the high option off the float. Side slot, just if one touch. I love the look, we were getting a completely different style of Audrey here than we did earlier in the bracket, right? Because this style is very much like I'm gonna whip punish quite a bit here. I'm gonna take my time. Yep. Make some call outs on minus frames. Because we know. What's up with that? Exactly. Tried to take your turn on minus frame, said no, I still got the FF behind me. You still have the blossom behind you, but I like the throw tech there. Even on the grid though. Tech throws okay. either way, oh. cross through. That was god like no punish off of it though, but very good roll through from Lunar. Yep. To bring us over to the other side. That's a full 200 meter for Lunar right now. Do we cash out into the IW to confirm the damage? Or do we just go for an EX disc? Strip to pull back the lead on uh, the Vorpal cycle here, but great block. Oh, Assault opens up. I wonder if he tried to go for a 5A. Uh, Anti-air opportunity, but yeah, that was unfortunate there. There we go, space out off the spiral. There we go, block on the overhead. Just trying to wait to see. Texas Hammer still has uh, CS. So Got to wait it out as a defensive option as well. I can't believe we didn't challenge the wreck of start, but here we go. Ice Blossom, yeah, of course. It was uh, the tick throw set up here, so we can have extended opening attack there. No, swipe on the low, but didn't get the confirmed Lunar. Okay, ties up the round count with the projectile. Close. Okay. That's it a hailstorm. Ice cream? Oh, yeah. You hate to see that if you're Texas Hammer, right? You spent the 100 meter to try and win out the projectile war, but instead, Lunar trades. Now we're back to neutral. Oh, geez. Caught shielding. So that is a bad time, especially since Lunar just got Vorpal. So strip anyways with the Veil off. Immediate spend. What a pickup. Yeah, so Veil off gets you out of that grid break state. I agree. Texas Hammer trying to get the grid state back into their arm as fast as possible. But counter zoning coming out from Lunar here. No free ice on the board. So careful on this approach. These are great dash blocks. We're trying to sneak in shield down again. That does help try to take back the Vorpal cycle. This yep. dash running. Ooh. Cool. Ooh, tried to slash on through. That's a big whip punish. The follow up did not quite reach. Shout out Texas Hammer. You know, once you get the hit with Lundrekia, you're in one corner or the other. Oh, nice blossom. Keeps you locked down for just a little bit. Even on the health here. Ooh, Rekka closes it out. Game number one mm -hmm. for Texas Hammer. Didn't even need to spend the 200 in the bank, says now. Nah, I got it with the Rekka. Yeah, I mean, Texas Hammer really be uh, holding on to them resources and using them in exceptional ways. Like, lot, very interesting to see the, you know, more opposite of Lodrakia play work out so well. A lot of that one in the second round was really played on the west side of the screen and the defense alone from Texas Hammer just great patience to close yep. the gap. Very tough. Nice, nice block. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Finds a throw. There we go. That secures the cycle for you very well going into this next one. There we go. Ooh, caught it with a low record. Just goes for the soft knockdown here. 
Oh, with throw that. Yeah. That was probably one of the OS situation right there. We just got to throw out instead, which is not a good look. Yeah. All right, round on the side of Lunar here. Ooh, okay, nice to interrupt. High BB. Yeah, yeah, that is such a strong button, right? You're able to cancel into the follow-up even on whiff, and it just takes up so much space on the screen. No, oh, but doesn't get the full confirm off the DB bait. This was not close enough. We need, like, maybe one more step there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sorry. Let's do, let's do B starter here from Kuro. Right. Wait, long kind of good. Isn't that your boy? Aren't you supposed to downplay their characters so you can say they gap? I thought that was the NorCal meta. Oh, no! Still, NorCal finding a little bit of ice in the forecast here. Finally makes their way back out with the FF. Yeah, bring ice sword. Rain. sword will definitely shut down the ring. Like, nice! 5BB, my beloved, just reaching all the way across the screen. Lunar trying to take some space. Now you got to hold this set point. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, teleport into DP. Top. Another ring set up here. It goes for the heavy orb. Or B orb. Yeah, I'm the, uh, yeah, I'm surprised the FF went through that. I wonder if Lunar was a little early on trying to set up the meaty there or just a little bit too late on the disc, but still finds your way to keep Texas Hammer locked down in the corner. Project out just out of reach, but the Rekka reaches all the way across the screen. There we go, coast to coast. And seals out the cycle for it, too. That's a blossom. Ooh. Ooh, nice pickup. All right, so bring it right back down. We need one more touch for the ice to get the freeze. And Looter definitely knows it, so they're going to try to sit back in this corner, but we still got stagger pressure going. Nice. Go back with the low to open it up. Gets the game and the set. 2-1 or 2-0 victory, excuse me, for Texas Hammer to advance on to this loser side. Tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. And here we go. Loser side top eight qualifying with Mario up against Card. Patience. And we see here we are tapping on shield, right? So Mario is trying to take advantage of this Vorpal Cycle as soon as we can because that'll really set things off so long as Mario can win it. And just barely with that forward assault, that is what sealed the deal there because Carp tried to steal it back with the concentration. So we got sword. That's your poison and done. Ooh, but we jab out. That's off. Oh, oh. Yeah, maybe trying to go for an empty low there, but just a little bit too slow. Carp found the gap, found the delay there. Still, Mario healthy on the grid cycle. Ooh, especially with these shields, keeping up the grid healthy. Tries to run up. Oh, there we go. And the tech throw. Look at how many grid blocks you have. How are you going? Okay, I guess nice. that's how you win the cycle when you cash out for the chain shift. It's all good when you're cashing out on so much damage. Cycle be damned. Tech back. Oh, that's crazy. Here's my drill that'll pierce the heavens. Mm -hmm. Nice. With the OTG to close it out. Mario taking the first round. There we go. Run on through with the shield. Who's your turn? There we go. Did not get guard broken or uh, grid crushed by the overhead was able to recover in time. Look at this. Again, starting this round the same way we did last round. Winning the cycle. Just to close the gap. But what an interrupt here from Carp. And we're out of dodge. That tried to get some additional momentum, but that is not the way you're going to look for it here because Mario with a full punish to corner carry, ending just over 4K. Ooh. There we go. In front. The Reby keeps the pressure on. It's a side swap off of the dash as well. Carp trying to get something started. The whip 2A right in front of the shield. They're like, bro, you don't reach from there? It's like, yeah, I know. I thought it would too. Oh, no. Nice back throw. Mario taking charge one more time here. This is the shield bash just to close the gap. No chain shift. Does get a step from Carp, but not quite anything. Ooh. Oh, no. What are you Lost reaching? Back 5B <laughs> into the kill. Mario steal this out. There we go. Game number one off of the whiff punish. Carp tried to find the way out of the corner, but instead they found their way to game number two. Yeah, what are you reaching for, dog? What are you reaching for? Mm -hmm. She wasn't even there. You trying to grab the cape? You got long sleeves. You got to watch yourself. Is the Wagner in the room with us right now? I don't know. They're in game number two trying to seal it out. Carp actually going on the aggressive now says, no, no, no. Mario been a little too strong about getting the grid off of every time I'm trying to zone. But even so, right? So strong in the defense, even when you try and take the fight to him. That was such a good chain shift right there, too, to call out the action from Carp to get the DP opportunity to confirm that was going to come through. And just like last game, the patience, and now we turn it up to 11. That Vorpal cycle builds up. Yep. Ooh, there we go with the side swap routing as well. Mario brings you all the way back to the wall. So much grid as well. I'm going to change it to try and keep this meter healthy. We got double buffs stocked up too. 
Nice. Pick up. Oh, there we go. Into the IW. Yes. Just kill it out clean. That's a great IW. Look at that. That's the Phoenix. Yo, stop. That's her new move, isn't it? Actually, that is her new move. I'm in crazy stop. right now. Brings you all the way over. Chat, what button is that? Hold on. I've yet to play Wagner on this one. But hold up. What is that button? A little crazy. Gets jabbed out here so that you lose the shield buff, but still got sword available. And we got shield trying to keep this grid cycle healthy as well. Chain chip available for Mario Karp. Trying to find any way in, but the defense is just so good. Oh, never mind. I say as you get hit. Full screen situation. Yeah, we will have to try to survive some of this uh, Vorpal cycle here. Let's look out in favor of four card. Oh no! Wrong side! She was facing the wrong way, so wasn't able to get that uh, pick up. What are you swinging at still? Finally finds the hit. Jump on in, bring you to the corner, and Carp. A decent amount of meter on the board here. Triple teleport. Just trying to keep Mario on his toes. No! Drill it. The drill that pierces the heavens. All right, bring it down. We do have IW available. Actually, that's an IWEX that we have available here. If we want to spend, yeah, right? go to the flame pillar. Now we're fully charged. Liver break. Charge. You're done. That's over. Throw in the corner into the dash. Seal it out with the EX. Mario moves on to loser's side there. top. Please pick this up. Yeah, it's an awesome package. We got an awesome top eight qualifier once again on the loser's side. SG Toxic versus Gary Butternut. And the Linguini, bro. Linguini. Oh, the pasta is getting chopped up right now. You're stuck in the corner down 50%. Nah, and you're down on the grid as well. You got chain shift available for SG Toxics to keep the pressure on. Woo! Yo, bless the dome. We chain shift to get the pick up. Mm -hmm. done with the overhead. SG Toxics about to have the 100 meter. Once again, you got Vorpal on the side, but it's not going to save you from the combo. That's basically a perfect. Gary Butternut says, yo, that's a full punish right there. Thank God you learned how to dash block. <laughs> Let's carry it to the corner here. The assault gonna get jumped in on. That was supposed to be the anti-air OS yeah. right there. Yeah, maybe looking for a 3 CAD, but instead gets caught out here, taking the high knee. Gary Butternut swapping it up here. 50% already down, eating some chip damage as well. But no, that geyser gets you out of the corner. Oh no! Yeah, just caught looking like a deer in the headlights right there. You do have life lead against Toxic though. Just barely. This pickup gonna change that. Especially with chain shift available. Toxic Down is gonna nice I see you. All right, with 200 meter on deck, we are gonna have to try to spend some of that. I mean, we go for chain shift just for the safety. But another yeah. idea you might want to come across there is to spend the meter if you can. Chain shift after, so you can not go off wasting. You know, you know you're, what's it called? What's the overuse on mana or whatever? Like overhealing and uh, MMOs is oh, what it is. Not overshield, but I know what you're saying, right? You don't get any extra no, no, no. in the bank, right? Right, right. You're overhealing your your uh, your tank, right? So why would you exactly. do that? Yeah, I guess because you knew it was gonna seal it out anyway. You're like, okay, I got 200 meter. It's gonna end the set. But you know, sometimes you gotta optimize as well, right? When you have those situations where optimizing that meter economy is gonna be huge. I know that was a big whiff on the throw, but Gary Butternut not able to find the confirm off the assault. <laughs> that is messed up. Toxic ran ahead of the low wind wind cycle and was able to get the throw. All right, we got the side yep. slot. Good call to keep your turn, but the assault going to get shielded, which does remove the next action from Gary Butternut. So Toxic going to get the challenge and victory here for the corner position. Yeah, assault, right? You know, it's one of those things that you're like, oh, I short hop, it tracks to them. It's a really good way to try and make your way in on neutral. And if they block it, it's my turn, right? But if they're able to stand shield it, you're like minus eight or minus nine. Like that is a B starter, and a lot of damage, but still Gary Butternut to fight his way back, keeping you locked down in the corner here. No, there's too many bounces, but we've got a guard break here, or grip break rather, excuse me. Staggered, nice, assault, but no follow up after the jump C. Oh. Block the charge C, there we go. Chip damage doesn't kill in this game, so it's not something you have to worry about. But any straight hit would be enough on either side yeah. to pick up off the windmill. Dead here. Ooh, good stuff. Hey, Toxic's on set point here, trying to make his way over here into the loser's top eight. Nice tap on the dome here. Gary Button up strong on the defense. Very good backdash. Going to hold it. With the... 
you know, that was jump A. That is definitely going to yeah. whip entirely. We try to go for the wild rising, which you can do for uh, hide. Hide is one of the few characters that can actually do that. Yep. Ooh, and the 2A actually just went right under. No punish. He was low profile to jump in instead. Toxic trying to find another way back in here, but gets caught on the approach. Pick up OTG. Coast to coast carry. Damage ender. Yeah, that's oh. a lot of grid for Gary Butternuts as well. You're in Vorpal, so you're getting less grid as well. So immediately looking for the chain shift, trying to bring it back, but uh, not quite Celestial for Toxic. Oh, geez. Caught reaching, but left a gap open. That allows for a chain shift here from Toxic. Oh, no. Throw a whiff, but you're so far away, right? Not able to get a punish, so Gary Butternuts not trying to go too crazy. Finally finds the opening after the scramble. Should be able to close it out with a dash. We're tied up on rounds here. All right. Need Gary Butternuts finding a footing in this round. Yep. Oh, Ooh, jump the through. Bait out the shield. You know, you know what? That's been the game plan all along. Gary Butter has been jumping in with Assault every single time. It's been Assault Button. And this is the one time it's throw. It does, you know, give a little bit of a reward here for Gary, but unfortunately, Toxic able to answer back. Good throw. No tech. And while falling, you know, the fuzzy from Toxic. This is not to say champion a little evil. I'm not going to lie to you. Pumping out the damage right now. We got the disc Oki for the other side, but no. Gary stays strong. No, the second cross up is finally what seals it out. 2 0 over Gary Butternubs. Yo, toxic. I see. I see. You got a look here from ST, you know, and of course, uh, ooh, nice jump. 6 C to start. So we swing on through, bring you all the way over. Yeah. Very interesting to see more so like uh, you know, delay buttons, the stagger buttons, like you were about to say here on that uh, on Squish. This DP definitely gonna get a big punish here. High, I'm trying to take this. There we go. Even up on the life lead here. I had a chain shift available as well. I think we save it for the next one. Ooh. It brings you over to the other side, but that's not too uh, that's not too bad if you're hide, right? You have so much corner carry. It's all yeah. good. We didn't even need to worry about the corner. We just killed with the IW. That was great awareness here on uh, the position that you're at in your combo route to guarantee that 5200 damage. Yep. So just gotta be careful. Try to go for 2B to chase the back dash, but wasn't quite close enough. Indeed. Dead switch going for the back dash. Bring this back to neutral. Triple projectiles. Shoot your way on through and CS. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know if the jump over was exactly what we were looking for there. Just no. sweeping. But you're back to the corner as well. I mean, that's the scary thing about going for the uh, jump out. Maybe we were expecting a back tech. That just did not come out here. All right, yep. nice. Got the uh, su super fireball pickup. Just gonna get that hard knockdown here. 214 C, Tatsu. Going up against the wall, you get a full combo for it as well. Chain shift available to try and make this comeback. Ooh. The block, but unfortunately gonna get scooped up in the corner. Not gonna kill here, but you know, sends a small message. Change shift to see what's going on. Jump to Boom. C. Let's get this pick up and around. All right, Squish tying it up here in game number one. Even on the meter as well. He's immediately going for the dash. The whip shield does not find anything. Spectacle 3k damage there. Of course, the DP to get out, but that is not the super weird. We wanted that super 100%. We wanted it a little bit earlier here so we can keep Kotsky grounded. You can follow up after. But yep. just for that, that B top two starter is a ton of damage, of course. Dude, the 5.4k off of a drop on the EX. Not only are you down so much health, you lost the meter for it as well. Now you're trying to slash your way out of the corner. CS Perry and Squish seals up game number one. Yo, what a call out with the parry into a Tatsu to uh -huh. close it out. A casual 5K off the start here from dropping your super. Don't you do that in the corner of Tatsu. Yo, it's been like this for years. We ain't never lost damage. That's for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, great away to save the seal out the first game, but instead, hi, taking the fight to you. No, no, I am not this hurt. <laughs> Concentration here. EX cancel to keep yourself safe after the block DP again. Another reflector. Swish. Just walk it back out. Try to see if we can beat out one more DP. No. Oh, 
Sentry Strike at the dash, or back dash, and yeah, we'll get to it for it. This will change it to try to build up. Unfortunately, we already got the kill, so we're not going to get the meter for that one. Ooh, this neutral jump, J AC. I wonder what we're looking for there. Maybe trying to see if Hyde's trying to pull up and be aggressive like some previous round starts. Yeah, like it's a great call to go for jump uh, 60 there because you get that uh, knockdown, right? Nice roll through. That's actually the uh, one of the new mechanics here that we have in uh, yep. Ooh. Through, pick up with the DP. Looking to build up some meter here as well with Chain Shift. You might be able to get enough for an IW unless you lose that much grid. How'd you get the skull? That was a butt. Squish. Ooh. A DP. That was just A. Yep. Which would have backed up. If it did get blocked, it would have been a uh, fireball opportunity to remain safe in the corner. Yep. Nice. Ooh, Agree. Yo, we can IWEX here if we want, but it's not going to kill, so we want to charge up on Vorpal here for one more opportunity for the sneaky dash up throw. No OS opportunity quite yet for Squish, and that's okay. Not another round. Go, run up, EX Fireball. Trying to get some plus frames here. Now just trading the 100 meter back at each other. No opening found just yet. Ooh, got to go for the throw with eight. All right, neck and neck here. Well, the defense is just staying so strong. Gets caught up with a straight projectile, but off of the chain shift. Yes. Finally finds the hit. Squish. That's a very good frame kill to close the corner. You knew it. 60. Say it. Say it with your chest. Squish. No. Squish. No. No, no, no. You didn't use the diaphragm. You were sneaking for the throat. That is unfortunate. Dropped with a 200% meter as well. Now Veil off hide. Trying to keep this round in their favor. Now that, that wasn't gonna kill. If we would have hit the the if it works, it was gonna kill, but yo. Parry, Ooh. this will kill. Please don't drop it. Let's go. It's done. It's done. The moment we get the dash 2C after the jump 6C, which does that little ground slot, you are yeah. definitely gonna get that kill route Game because number it is one of winner's side top eight. Yeah, definitely. All right, so Winterside Top 8, like you said, starting things off is a back throw, but the DP on Wake Up from Fire to kick things off. Ooh, set. set the ice state here, but on block it disappears anyway. Silent takes the turn. Plus frames off the projectile. We're going to do Geyser CS to get our turn once again. That's a lot of grit for Defiant. We're able to hold on strong. We have Celestial after this next cycle. Oh. Yeah, full stop and nice block, but of course we're gonna get opened up at the end. And thank God it wasn't a grip break there. We get a little cheeky. Uh -huh. Nice. Protect. 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 Again, Celestial. This is a lot of meter that we've gotten just from chain shift on Defiant side, right? So we're seeing some characters and some players opt to get Celestial and then just hold on to the grid to secure later cycles. But instead, Defi wants to go for the meter every single time they have it available. All right, ice stuff. I can't believe you sent the staff out to do your dirty work. I said, nah, I don't even want to make our way over there. I wouldn't touch it with a five foot pole, but sending it out to do it yourself, maybe that is an exception. Still Wait, he did use a five foot a pole, though. I guess so. You know, how tall is Landrekia is the real question here. Oh, it's a tall order to make your way out of the corner with the EX Blossom. Ooh. Nice. Got the pull back here. Yeah, phone on with Vorpal again. Like, that is that moment of pause that you're seeing here from Defiant. Just for a bit to try to build a path. I can't. You got the cross up. Celestial is the new mechanic here that you do get ex additional damage in your Vorpal cycle. You do have a di uh, additional trace for your chain shift, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Chef a lot for asking. Yeah, so if you end a grid cycle with six full grid blocks or more, you know, that's when you get the Celestial. It just fills up the entire thing. So it is a lot of meter on your side if you're able to get the chain shift after. Oh my god, and another chain shift available for Deppy. Silent, you know, just barely outside of the 100 meter range. Built it up on block here. Ooh. As the assault still mashed on through. Did we shield her? I don't even know if I saw the shield come out, but still the 2A mash coming out from Defiant to seal out game number one. Yeah, and uh, the quick touch on the Celestial, the chain shift, it'll give you a reset on the ground bounce. It does reset yeah. the, uh, the CV as well, the combo meter. Uh, not yeah. the combo meter, but the uh, the aerial opportunities you have uh, for your exactly. combo route. Yeah, so you get even crazier combo routing once you have those poker blocks. So it is definitely scary. Elvis is scary as swiping on with the 2B, but uh, Silent just hit you with the assault. 
Oh, 6 6 need to chase down the da back dash? Okay. Yo, this is silent round. Yeah, not happy about that last game. Says, no, no, no. Let me run away with the perfect real quick. Mind you who I am. <laughs> the fireball with the jump back. Easy to dodge it. Ice state applied. Shield six speed does go for the little over out of 10. But she got the stand block. Nice tech. Yeah, absolutely backdash after that change shift. You didn't show an, uh, an axe on the table here, so it's an opportunity that Silent can try to press. That's your whip opportunity. But the throw, fading out the DP from Defiant. Silent with 200 meters with Vorpal uh, State. You definitely want to try to spend, but 2A interrupt. It's early in the Vorpal cycle, so you're not necessarily going to spend right away, but that's going to be at the forefront of your mind here as you go into it. Yeah, I like the back deck to get out of EX Blossom, but I also like the back step to stay right outside of the veil off. Tried to get any reversal on out of there, but Silent is going to be eating a lot of damage here, stuck in the corner. Green shield means a free throw for you after chain shift. Nice call out here from Defiant. Man, and shield is just one of those options that you have to represent against the Rekkas to try and counterplay your way back out, but just waiting for a chain shift to grid break and kill. Tied up on the rounds here. Defiant wants to seal it out, but Silent trying to stop you in your tracks. It's the right shield you want to go for, though, right? Because if you have green shield, that tells your opponent to go immediately for that chain shift to guarantee that throw. So if you do regular shield, which is when you time your shield properly against your opponent's strikes, you're going to be okay. Yep. All right, nice. Got the Rekka pick up. Yo, how do you still... Oh, un you can't tech out! Nothing! You're way in the sky! This dude's kicks are insane! Damn, a little greedy from Deku there gets mashed out on the EX Blossom here. It has a little bit of startup before. Then we did triple Whoa. assault on the dome as well. Do We're on layer four of the Yomi right now. That's Veil off into the ice range. Crosses up, but JC still doesn't open you up. Cross up, Rekka. Silent stays strong. Whoa. Yeah, oh, and great awesome. defense from Defiant on that corner situation, too, because 6-6-B from Fodon is also one of those scary... No, maybe not everybody had a PlayStation. You know about that? I'm saying early access. So they're fighting for their lives right now. They're on even ground. I know both of these players definitely started off day negative four. Fighting for their lives here in round number one. Big Clock finds the first hit, but it's a back tech. Push back. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you got zapped with light. Stagger pressure here, change it to try to see what's going on and get a little bit of resources, but we did give Masoma a free Vorpal cycle for it there. There we go, running up. That's the assault. Gets you a little bit of grid. Yep, 6 6 e. really is. Ooh, the space down slide. I wonder if you're actually plus from that distance here. Masoma yeah. takes the turn and finds the counter hit as well for Big Black. Okay. Here. Hold on to the Ooh. board. Damn, yeah, put it to the other what? side. Yo, with the chain shift to call it out. And now this is a beautiful setup situation here. With the low web, we got a high web on top of it. We're going to go for a little reset here. Bubble can take care of this situation here, but the front web is going to be the one to worry about the most. If Biakio stays right in that range, Bubble's not going to reach at all, so that does remove that uh, option for uh, Masoma in that corner. Nice reversal, but yo, the 5A, easy confirm. Masoma drops a little too early, though. No, apparently not easy enough. Drops on the slide, but still the fuck. That hit on the other side? I couldn't even tell, dog. You held float all the way over Big Black's like, what happened, dog? You gotta replay review that with me real quick. Now round number two, heading right into it. Oh, the float sit over here, excuse me. I need to sit down right over here. Because, excuse me, just a little bit to the side. Thank you. <laughs> oh, assault right in your face. Get some more grid for the cycle. All two A. Yo, there was no representation of nothing on that chain shift. It was a guess after the scenario, and Masoma came out on top with that two A. That's tragic for Big Black. Exactly. I mean, Masoma, right? Decent amount of health on the board says, no, no, no. I'm going to keep on mashing through. What are you going to do? Spend 100 meter to bring us back to neutral? Like, I'm fine just putting out a meaty here. Oh, that is a meaty amount of damage. Put it on Big Black's health for me. That was a good chain shift. To get a little bit of invulnerability, Masoma was not active with the 2A quite yet, so we were able to get that jump out. Nice. Actually able to interrupt on the web. We take the trade all day. First game for Masoma. There we go. I wonder when we traded on it. It looked like the slide coming out from Masoma as well.
Just barely enough damage to put the first game on the board here. Game number two. This float is going to be something else for a while. Like, just to get used to the idea. We haven't seen Kaguya yet either. Like, those, these two characters alone are definitely going to be uh, very interesting to learn for the opening of uh, NB2 so far. Ooh. The spirals here. I wonder that was a setup there. I, I would assume that was a draw, but... Single web. Stuck in the corner here. Yes. Jumps on over. Finds the hit with the assault. Yeah, you tried to swing out the 2B there. He's right behind you. Pulls up for the throw off the stagger. There we go. CS into the reversal. Gets a little bit of meter back for it as well. Another throw. My goodness. Slide on into the DMs. Yeah, here's this disc. It's a new mixtape that I got here. Damn, DP after the throw tag says, no, no, no. I'm not trying to hold any of that, but still caught up by the web. Some pushing on the corner here. Spend the EX for web OP. There we go. <gasps> Good oh, gosh. you tried to get yeah. through. There's no web right there to continue, but we still have to pick up here. Yep. A good tech. The as well has chain shift available. Nah, but loses it after the cycle. Masoma might be able to make the comeback here. Decent amount of health to work through with 200 meter and the cycle on your side. I don't know. It's not quite as uphill as you might think. Nice. Ooh. Succeed. That'll do here. Just got an easy pickup as we fall. Rounds are tied. That was scary. There's a lot of momentum in Masoma's favor, but Big Black ties it up here. To the dash box to try and get the cycle before you go anything too crazy. EX Whirlwind. Then taps on the dome with the assault as well, breaks the grid. Yeah, you are healthy on the grid meter right now. Does not quite get the Celestial, but still, all these good blocks in your name. That's a lot of meter ready for EX Weboki. As soon as you get the opening, no, but instead Masoma finds the hit first. Oh. Pressure. Full screen situation here is so scary for Pyakuya. You do have to try to charge in to get that 6 c opportunity will be your threat. Otherwise, you go for like a DP to close in, but DP is the bigger risk, and Soba is definitely the one to come out on top with Huon right now. It does steal the deal. 2-0 victory to advance into winner's finals. Man, and that was so close. Let's strong. Let's continue. This lineup here with Texas Hammer versus Mario. Yeah, speaking of Frosty, right? We got the Song of Fire and Ice here. We got Landrekia versus Wagner. Texas Hammer finds the first hit, and Lucas finds another $5 contribution over to the Matcherino again. Guys, send some love to these players, giving you such awesome action. Mario fighting back says, All right, I want a little piece of that pie for that prize pool as well. You found another $5 in your couch cushion, Lucas? That's crazy. DP! Thank you, Chain Shift. Ooh, well, thank you, Shield Bash, as well. Keeping us locked down in the corner here. Oh, and it's just barely enough to win the cycle off of the hit, too. Now we got Sword Buff. Punk the God with the $20 Ooh. contribution. Thank you so very much. Hey, shout out. Thanks for the generosity. Generous with the damage as well. Closes it out with a grab. And Mario puts a round on the board here. Hail Storm coming in strong. We at least have one set of ice. Oh, for the trade, actually. We'll take that away from you. No DP. Yep. Ooh. With the FF. Lots of corner carry off the shield into the dash as well. Take the full cash out with the 200. Very surprising early spin, but hey, we make it that much harder for Texas Hammer to try to fight back, especially in this corner. Back of bottom with a single dollar says, I want to see more. I agree with that. You didn't type that, but I know you wanted to. Yeah, we read your mind off of that one dollar. That single, we see you. And we see you with the full 12 grid off of that Celestial State as well. Mario running away with it. So much meter in the bank here. Doesn't even need the EX to put game number one on the board. So Mario drawing first blood. And that is the trouble of this matchup. You know, granted, we do have that DP from Londrakia now, but the fact that Wagner could just back dash off and then dash right back in with uh, Garport on shield if she wants to is yeah. so threatening to deal. Yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
That's Dr. Low off the Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> this is evil. What's going on, dog? You still got the shield buff off of the hit here. Decent amount of meter for both. No, gets caught up with the Rekka. Yeah, best way to close the gap and still able to get a continuation off the wall bounce. Should be able to kill and does succeed. Man, that was a clean whiff punish too. You saw the ice pillar whiff right in front of you. You said, no, 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 I am not dropping this one. Immediately spend the hundred. And now we're on set point for Mario. It's barely even been two minutes into the set. It's Wagner play. That's a, oh, exactly. you couldn't throw, but still blessed Ooh. if you were able to recover. Blessed be the 6B catches you out once again. Texas Hammer getting caught on every single time on these spacing traps. Mario manipulating the screen control every single time. 200 meter to your name, but you're burning for it. Yeah. Careful, slowly tipping away. Soulless Reaper with the $5 contribution. Thank you so Ooh. very much. Thank you, thank you. Wait. No, Mario not quite able to kill, but the throw seals it out. A clean four rounds back to back. The type advantage on the fire versus ice. See how that no. plays out because Squish, you know, took a little bit of warming up in the last set that we saw, but definitely fell right back into place. Movement is going to be key here. And we do see the jump uh, charge 6C, which will actually kind of shut things down for Nanasa if she tries to approach. It goes for uh, Sword Car. Like, it's such a threat because look at the arc that it does have to hit, and you get a big follow up after. Oh, follow up indeed brings us. Oh, not quite over to the corner and the combo a little bit early here. Squish. Oh, CS is an empty low. Toxic. The block, but still gets opened up at a throw. Whoa. Okay, Aaron DP, no combo or no punish though. Training the projectiles in the mid screen here. Stagger with the close beat. Yeah, 6 6 C, and we still get this corner pick up. 100. Hotsky, so consistent when it comes to damage, the delay button. This style of Squish, I'm feeling right now because it is, it's very interesting. Yo! Oh, he tried to go for the spacing trap, but Toxic gets the better view in this one and yeah. the side swap as well with meter right. and all the grid to your name. He's able to get out of the corner, but this time around, we we're able to change shift to survive the parry. Yeah, that was tough. There's a low after that parry, and I think it wasn't going to be the regular follow up for the force function from Squish. It's going to be a button. Our drop the yeah, EX, there no we go, end it in way. the eye. W Toxics brings the round back. That was such good play around the parry, right? Reacting with the CS to make sure that you could block it and then catching it out with a low afterwards. I W takes the round. That's a high APM interaction to do. You're not just sending it home. Like you have to be very quick to go for that chain shift to call out that parry because immediately after, Hotsky gets that free action. EP out. Right, EX projectile, one dollar from Aiden Clutchy. Thank you, thank you. Throw attack gets you a little bit of grid back, but DP off of the throw attack. We've seen that once or twice before. Oh, you tried to run up, but gets caught out with a 2D on the approach. Oh, a top two counter hit. We will get this corner carry here. Oh, interesting. The 5 b pickup right there, that was very interesting. They must have changed that hurt pop. I didn't realize that worked for OTG. Yeah, right? Oh, Ooh. no! Front of the throw, tried looking for the shield. That's grid break. Seal out the next cycle as well. Not going to be able to build up any grid, but Squish says, no, no, no. Cycle be dance. We go straight into the IW to tie up the rounds. You got that? Look at that. We'll turn around here. 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 Put the 5A. Go. Oh, geez. again, another time a uh, interrupt right there. Yeah, I see way back out. Or excuse me, that's a 5B, not 5A. It's so quick though. It makes sense. It's like uh, it's a faster 5B. I, I dig it. I dig it. Oh. Here on the five A's from Akatsuki here. Got our throw. This yeah, time that throw one. really just swung the cycle in Squish's favor. Oh, yeah. Fireballs here. Keeps you honest. So if you go for a back deck, you're going to have to hold it. Yo, the disc is coming back. But for what? Who sent that back? Oxix runs away with it. Gets the pickup off the OTG. That's game number one. Dude, this was so back and forth. I would not be surprised if we made it to a yeah. game three. Right.
We'll get to that game too. Yeah, that back and forth player between these two. Terry. Very strong, right? Because sometimes Squish will make that strong read on wake up. But Toxics has like such a consistent set play with Namase. Like she has so many tools to keep Kotsky locked down. We've already seen that the parry play from Squish isn't necessarily going to work every single time. And yep. Toxics has been ready for it on occasion. Yeah, this 2 2 way does get off. If you place your meaty well enough with uh, Nanase, like, she could actually put like the uh, wind fireball right over the 2 2 way. So yeah, so yeah. careful, but you showcase that option. Oh, like you're saying, trying to go for that wind fireball cancels out the projectile, and now Squish tried to pull up, but Toxic's caught out the approach. It was with a 2v, and now you're solid on the cycle. Runs up for the throw. Damn, all right, set point for Toxic. Nice shield right away. Oh, too far. We tried to go for the steeple chase to bring it right back down. The quick dash in for the whip hunter's throw. Oh, Jason's crazy, bro. We're horse racing. Racing to the end here. Set point for Toxic, but Squish wants to tie it back up. 200 meter on both sides. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good block, though. Oh! Yo! With B Tatsu. All right, let me send a fireball real quick. It's not your turn yet. Hard knockdown. We got Celestial. Here you guys talking about that heaven and hell bracket, but no, instead tied up here for round number three. That Celestial, we didn't even need it, right? Maybe could have gone for a CS to try and get a little bit more meter going into this next round, but still Squish playing a little passive, still gets caught out with the Smart Steer. All right, got the 2-2-B. Oh no, I'm not sure it was supposed to be uh, concentration right in the face of Toxic. Yeah. That was definitely misinput. Yeah, I imagine maybe looking for a shield instead or maybe an assault, but still. The corner here against Toxic. Lots of health to try and make your way through. Clashes with the fireball, so I like the cancel into the EX to make sure you keep the pressure. What a delay. Off to A Tatsu here to get the pickup. Classic route. B, there we go. It's a throw. Chip still available just in case. We've seen CS carry a lot from Squish here just in case. Oh! No! Going for the empty, but that was a great bail off right there. Gets out of the corner. Oh, no way. No! No! They no! crossed through and evaded the veil off as well. Toxic, as long as you can seal this out into the geyser. There we go. The EX seals out your spot in loser's side top six. Man. Yeah, you're just in time for loser side top six. We got some Biakia versus Wagner action here with Big Black and Mario. So I think like you're saying, right, once Big Black is able to get that hit, especially if you're in the corner against the Weboki, yeah, Mario does have the DP available, but you're spaced out enough that, you know, you can try and bait it out in a, uh, a way that's less scary than if you have to run up to try and keep that pressure. But speaking of running up, Mario ran you all the way over to the corner already. Nah, no, never mind. You just jumped on out and gets caught out on the way. Oh, you thought you tried to use the force function to set up the web, but that yep. took you to the opposite side, and Mario was ready with that back dash. Got the challenge right back in the court. Good jump out. Though. The overhead does not connect. Big Black is still back to turn with it. 6 c no call, but we drill. I'm not going to worry about a web. What is that there for? I'm surprised that 6 c just barely didn't make its way, but Mario immediately ready for the whip punish with a dash. Clean. 5B, Sacker 2 c right after. Someone said not to say theme got buffed. A lot of the themes got buffed in the remixes here, so I'm glad to hear this new OST. I'm glad to see once again we bait out the low, just jumping right over with the assault. Oh, too far, too far. That was way too far, not what Big Black was looking for, so a little bit of a blunder. Blunder oh, good. in the blunder. Still got the dig up, though. Yeah. back throw. Got the sword charge there. Good tech. That would have been another uh, opportunity to charge for shield. Oh my goodness. Sweeping the ground, looking for the manager, but the carry normal does not find its mark. Big black ties it up on the round count. Yeah, a couple blunders with the web setups there, but still able to seal it back out. The back throw. Single web. No! Take it up with the 3C right after, of course. DP Ender. Yes, we charge. Yeah, it was really close to the grid situation. I think Mario would have won it regardless, but just wanted to make sure with the focus at the end there. I like the Pillar Ender. No, but now you're down for any buffs. You have FCS available, but still stuck in the combo here. Stuck up in the corner with all the webs as well. Do we spend the EX? Oh, no. Yeah, we want to go for that chain shift while we still have Vorpal. Ooh. 
the air web here. Got all the meter in the well. Go for the EX webs. That's three to keep you locked down. Ooh. All right, nice attack coming right back at you. Try to throw, and unfortunately, the assault blows it up. But it's not unfortunate that Untold Melody came in at the right time with the raid for this Lucas Quarters Top 8 match. Thank you so very much. Hell yeah, you're just in time for game number two. Thank you for stopping on by. Right, damn, they both ran up for the action immediately, but that's the back throw for Big Blood. No, don't make it three. Don't make it three throws. All right, single web. Get out of tech there with the assault. Oh. There we go. Assault tries to go for the reset in the air, but instead we DP on through. Mario gets the side swap as well. Just throw. Just drops real quick to set up the Oki situation here. Another one for the drill kick. Yeah, commits to the low this time. I think we're waiting out for the 100 meter reversal from Big Black. Tries to walk it on out, gets tapped on the dome, but it's not a full confirm, so Mario fights back. You add meter, goes for the, yeah, change shit to try to build back up that meter after using it. Yep, and kill. So we got a little bit of a chunk coming back for you here in this next round. See it, Mario, can you tie it up? One round closer to it at least. And Sing, Big Black staying strong in the defense, but gets grabbed. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, jump back button. Caught out with the web. Back down. Spend the EX with the three web. Oh no, actually one. just the air web. Yeah, that's Ooh. two times now that we've seen Big Black kind of mess up the uh, setup in the corner, but still gonna get the opening here against Mario. We got the low web here, but there's so much patience. Unfortunate 2C coming through. Shield broke, which was uh, very odd because we we're already holding low, so he wants to stood up at the last moment there. Yeah, I wonder if we were looking preemptively for the assault, right? But goes for the low, it's high damage off of the grid break. Now we're tied up, Big Black looking at set point. 200 meter in the bank, but again, another grid break, this time on Mario's side. Oh, dash on into the DMs, another slide. All right, double buffed up, 200 meter to your name. Should be able to seal up the cycle as well, keep the combo going. So much damage here for Mario. You can't really mess this up necessarily. The tech does come through. What a poison with the boost. Yep. Oh, yep, that guard came through. Ups inside the cross cut. Yo, shield bash. CSDP the trade to put a game on the board. We're tied up 1 1. Going to final game here. Big Black versus Mario. Yeah, they should have let me do a Jersey Club remix of Not a State theme for this game. What's going on over there in the chat room? What is, what is what's going Jersey on over there? Club remix. What is it's that? hard to describe unless you heard it. Like it's just so particular. You hear it mentally. If you know, if you know, you know. That's the best way I can describe it. What's good, lead? There we go. Game number three. Web right over you, but the assault instead puts you into the corner. Nice. Whoa! DP. We're out of there. Nice little cross under too with the delayed five B. Ooh, okay. The shield there, let go in time. A little bit of grid loss, though. Looks like that's a cycle between the corner. Yeah. So, Pillar doesn't get full charge on Wagner anymore? Is that the change that she got for Uni 2? I guess not, right? No strange, but still, finds the way in with the assault! <laughs> They were both just jumping at each other, but the second one finds the mark. Mario on set point. This is me. All right. I mean, hey, she didn't need more, right? She got plus nine off it, so. Getting charged might be a lot. Yeah, exactly. Right, nice. You know, all the plus frames in the world, even when it's shielded, not the worst thing to complain about. Mario, be patient with the dash block out. That's a throw tech. So much grit on the side of big, big black and so many resources as well. Jeez, what a counter 2C. Yeah. Pick up off the low wall bounce. Uh -huh. see triple web Oki, I believe, with the chain shift, you got all the meter in the world. Yep. Stop to hold on to the grid. Keep the cycle. Okay. Make sure that you don't have chain shift for Mario to escape the corner. Grid break into the back throw web pickup. Final round here, Zero. Let's see who makes it on the loser semis. 
What a jump in here from Big Black. Uh, nice pick up with the 5A. No air Yo, to worry about. Charge, charge, yeah. Yeah. The overhead for the grid break. This is a lot of damage taken, especially with Morphle activated halfway through the combo. 200% meter. You got the triple webs ready for you, waiting. Yes, indeed. Big Black really feeling themselves right now. Trying to go for his overhead whip throw on both sides. Actually, I think that was missed there. Have to imagine the RM. I missed the red flash on that one there, so maybe it wasn't. But either way, fail off. We're going to seal the deal. Now we're just styling at this point. Make sure you know we have the optimals. Yep, yep, Ready, yep, said, yep, I don't yep, want to yep, watch yep. that stupor. That I'm good. Waifu with the $1 contribution. Thank you so very much. We see you. We see you. Thank you for the uh, the generosity here. Damn, Silent really just ran all the way from downtown. Are you going to do another throw? No, instead, see the neutral jump over. I think we're trying to bait out both the DP and the throw whip there, so I like the option, but it does put your back into the corner. Ooh. Yeah, that's stacker pressure. Oh, green shield, though. Push back. Not able to react to it because they have the assault forward in anyway. Yeah. Damn, tracked you all the way to the top rope. Silence said, I'll be safe up here. No, no, no. The wind follows wherever it goes. EX for the ender. Ooh. Not not here. Yeah. All right, Silent, you got a lot of health to work through. How are you going to try and make your way out? You got to be scared of the DP, right? Any reversal. you be able to seal it out. But hey, sometimes you just got to play brave, right? You yeah, be too no. afraid of the threat. All right, let's see if we get the yellow throw. Tech. Next fireball. Yeah, we don't want to overcommit here at this point because Silent could really open things up with uh, ooh, all the grit that it's built. I can't believe we got the slide under. Simply swap yeah. sides and now you're stuck in this corner. Plenty of shield for your life situation, but the throw will close it out. Toxic sneaking one in. Yeah, that was part from Toxic, right? The forward momentum off of the air projectile from Silent and running under to make sure you got that side swap. Put your back up against the corner and you didn't have 100 meter to fight back out with the reversal, right? But Silent, okay, off to a good start here in round number two. You got the frame kill off the two ways. We have the challenge. That DP will get punished here. 200 meter, you may as well try to spend the seal. Oh, there we go. We have chain shift as well. I think yeah, we're going to try and save it. some of that meter and get the refresh. Yes. Which comes back during the super animation as well. One apiece on the rounds. That's the ideal way to try to end that round there. Jumping. Ooh, 66B got the pickup. And G Tech with the $5 contribution. Thank you so hey. much. Thanks for the support. I see you watching over there. Grand Blue homie, but still got to support the rest of the fighting games. That's what the spirit is all about. Jumping on through. Toxic not going to get opened up. Complete respect from Toxic here. And able to get the two A interrupt. Yeah, no shield with the assault there. So I guess Silent just didn't take their turn. Off of the jump and gets caught up with the counter hit. 5A. Nope. Yeah, nice little veil off here. We're going to get out of the corner. Yeah, the game. It doesn't grid break you if you get hit with the VO, but still lost a lot of space and off the throw. Finally going to get that grid break that you were looking for. Yeah. Stacker pressure. We still have that veil off here. And I don't think we'll get the opportunity here because Toxic playing it smart here, trying to keep the block stun on silent so we don't have the opportunity to spin. But that change shift will help things out. Yo, yeah, with home with JA, but you still yeah. held on strong. Said, nah, I'm not gonna get opened up. I simple no. stuff like this with the MT low up the the pirouette. No, you're crazy, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Two inch challenge back. Nice. Able to get the game here. Toxic taking that first one. Definitely back and forth. Silent was, uh, you know, running away with the pressure for a little bit, but Toxic is so hard to try and, you know, lose out the round against, right? A lot of times, very content with the down back. Very patient on the defense, and then we see the match 2A on the block assault starter, right? So it's like, dude, how do I get a read for how this guy is trying to make his way out? Nice tech. OS action there. Yep. Oh, four tech out, but still, uh, yeah, it's so risky trying to come falling down shield, especially a low shield there. Oh, got broken right off rip and silent with a perfect round. 
Gonna reset off of the tech trap too. You had enough time to go for the assault, uh, you know, overhead. Evil, evil, toxic. Hasn't seen that one. Wasn't quite ready for it. Runs up for the assault. Tapped on the toes with the counter hit, but no confirm. Nice sitting right on top of the fireball right there from uh, Anase. Help things Ooh. out, but you don't get to approach. And that's the tough part here is that Toxic is just kept at full screen from Silent here. And four will create. Oh my goodness, will be in favor of Silent. So we do get the better normals here from going on right now. Yeah, nice pick up off the Assault. Tries to jump back. Oh, Maybe no. get on a DP. Well, we swing and tried to go a little crazy with it. Now you're going to eat a lot of damage for a 200% meter available for Silence. But instead, goes on. Doesn't want to cash out to the IW. Didn't quite think it would kill. Catches you out on the jump out. There we go. Use of the AB. I, I like that to close out the game there because, you know, it's a consistent way to route into the super. It's the only thing you can cancel into yeah. off of the AB, the steer ender, and it also makes sure your combo is clean to tie it up 1-1. One, one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, being able to angle those fireballs will snipe out of the sky. That would get a nice yeah. pickup. It's toxic. Ooh. Dome. There we go. Air shield makes your way on out. 171. Ooh. Now you tried to put out the windmill on the screen, but instead, Silent Hook to the skies puts you back into the corner, but no reset there. Back, shield, nice. Unfortunately, we'll get shielded out. So that was an opportunity for Silent to try to steal back. Wasn't close enough for 2A, but we do get this back throw for corner position. DP, you gotta respect it. Go EX Geyser. Oh, ran yourself into the corner though. So pressing. Quick cancel into the super. I wonder if we thought a confirm was going to be there because we could have tried to end in a safe position. Probably didn't want to get caught in an unsafe scenario, but EX definitely not the one to go for there, especially at that range against the Nasa. Yeah, and especially now that you're down a lot of meter going into this uh, potentially last round of the set here. Oh, tries to go for the AB off of the Geyser. I find anything though, but finally the swipe on through with the 2B opens up silence. Ooh. Yep, flash the seal. Trying to get a little bit of grid off of this fireball. Ooh, jump on through, that's the whiff. No whiff shield coming off from Toxics though, so just jumped on over. Oh, oh jeez. Now the EX right, talk, you're trying to. Air to air, that's a VO available for Silent here. How are we going to use the meter? Green shield push back here in the corner. Yeah, I mean, hey, you may as well use it. You're going to lose it either way. So that's a safe option to go for there. Just the low uh, fireball there. Yeah, exactly. Try and get something on the screen. At least you can follow up, get a little bit of screen space. You got the side swap off of it as well. Now Silent, well, you're able to seal out this cycle. That's Celestial, a lot of meter for the next oh, round. Oh. Okay, we go got charge. Yep. Damage, 20% here. No. Oh, lost the space. Just barely holding Ooh. on to that lead. Keep you at bay in the sky. Still got that stacker pressure. Shield coming up from Silent. You lose the cycle for it, though. And we'll be at 19 seconds with a life lead right now. Oh! Jump in! Are you kidding me? Toxic! Wow. Out for losers semis 2-1. We saw the threat of the timeout and Toxic says, no, no, no. I am rushing down. I do not want to have to see that clock go to zero. So, but I do want to see right. like a double or a triple main at this point. Says, nah, I don't need the Lundra gear for you. Let me go back to old reliable. I say you get hit out so. by the pillar. We want to offer Lundrakia here on this one, but yeah, Deppy definitely known for uh, Deppy definitely known. Wow, I'm using different <laughs> words now entirely. That I don't uh -huh. like that sentence. But anyway, uh, you know, no for hide. She's nice interrupt after the shield, like great blocks from Masoma and anti air shield. So that is uh, a turn for Masoma here. Right, you go. Right, the dip right behind you. Yeah, exactly. Make sure the Oki is right on top of the meaty. Make sure you can't even DP on out, but the slide. Again, catching you. Go for the mid-screen here to make sure you got that left-right mix, but instead the toes get caught out again. Soma with a quick round one. This is what you get for stealing one of my swords, is cool. Uh -huh. It really is the lore matchup coming up here, right? <laughs> Defiance said, no, no, no. Let me put a little bit of the story mode in winner's final. Yeah. 
push back with the shield just a smidge and just out of the range of the 2 2 at the 2 2 at that range, sir. I think so, yeah. Ooh, tried to go for the grab, but again, DP the bubble. Get off it. Yo, alright. Well, that's Maybe. gotta be cross up protection because that was into a special, so there's. Yeah, yeah I right. Know. Surely you would not make a block left and right for meter list, right? Yay! Ooh. Charge here. Let's keep you locked down with the projectile follow up. No, instead, you pull up with a throw. You're a little too passive, Deppy. Fight back. Damn. What's one sword to eight on the back? Masoma puts one on the board. Okay, okay. Yeah, interesting to go back to hide, and we're still locking it in with hide. All right, locked in with the OG main here. Let's see what we can make of it. And I mean, Deppy, I would assume, has been playing a lot of Lanjekia throughout the rest of the bracket. So sometimes it takes a couple games to bring yourself back into the muscle memory, especially against a new character, right? I wonder if Deppy has had time playing this particular matchup and knows what you're looking for. But hey, you're able to get a strong hit in the corner right now. A strong throw into the corner. This setup doesn't want you jumping out. Dagger, one more time here. The school. The Vorp may be in Deppy's favor, but uh, the Oki situation is definitely in Masoma's right now. There we go. Wall bounce right off the top here. Yeah, lots of good for Deppy. Are we going to go CS to try and get some meter for the next round? Nah, no, save it to try and close it out. CS projectile. New move coming out from Hyde to control the ground space, but JC seals out the round. Yo, that poke for the 5A was wild. Defiant drawing a line here, but now Masoma opening up real strong. The second round here at game two. Flash out through, caught with the slide. Peter on both sides here, spend the EX. Ooh, tries to wait up for a DP, but Deppy's staying patient right now. Already a round up, so you don't have to be too risky floating to the throw. Slotting <laughs> onto the CS. More, you're in throw range. Yeah. Oh, did not block the DP. I thought for sure we might have been sitting on top of it since you're already guaranteed that chip anyways. Not going to yeah. chip kill, right? Because you, you don't have that, but at yeah. least you know for a fact you need one more touch. Either way, got the throw. Round four, Masoma. Oh, round start. EX projectile. At least get a little bit of pressure started, but 2A, 2A, Masoma fights back here. The other grid. Ooh, jump over tries to catch out a throw wave. Ooh. Right on through. Two back dashes there. Got the full room. Zip the 2 2 series in from Hyde. Just get the little bit of the pillar to keep the turn. Ooh. Big assault. And jumped over the projectile so you don't even have the chance for the follow up. There we go. Deppy looking for some stagger pressure to keep you locked down in the corner. Whiff here. Woo! Jump A whiff, but we still got the pogo fireball here. Uh huh. Not through lots of damage with the EX. I don't even know what side you're on. No! Stays right outside of range for the DP bubble. Defiant ties it up 1 1. Yeah, that was a beautiful shimmy wimmy from Defiant here. Nice stuff. Alrighty, okay, we got a set on our hands. Debbie just needed a little bit of time to warm up on the hide. No, no, no. You knew me for this character for a reason. Game number three. Ooh, that shield got very lucky that you were able to get out in the nick of time here. There we go. Slide CS, trying to see if Defiant looks for the challenge back. No. Waiting out for the cancel, respecting it. See you building up a lot of grit on the defense here as well. Oh, the Celestial so goes for the throw, says, no, 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 you're not going to get it that easy, but still wins the cycle. The shields with the float on top of it. To a challenge back from Jeffy. Through EX projectile to keep your turn, but DP brings you back to full screen. Ooh. Set the float. There we go. Yeah. I don't know how Masoma tries to get the grid back here. No, it wins the cycle with the run up, but isn't even worried. Says, nah, let me close out the round. Oh, slide on in. Still able to get a block. Thank goodness there, because uh, yeah. that was definitely punished territory if we didn't go for the dash through from high. Ooh, jump on over. It was the cross up, but still. 
Oh, not strong to the down back. I say is you get baited on the DP with a disjoint. Do it again. Oh, look at this guy's right on over the blade rift. Ooh, that actually cancels out the heavy projectile. Ooh, oh, no! Waited this time to get the 6B start. Okay. Yo, defying. Clean about baiting out these DPs. Oh, okay. Quite able to kill with the tech down into the two-way the reset. I guess maybe that's why we're looking for the uh what's it called? Looking for the hide switch here instead of the Landrekia. You have a couple other moves that are spaced out, but maybe it's you know access to the setup to end your combo routing right outside of range of the DP that they're right. really valuing here in winners' finals. Yeah. That's a great call, actually, because look at this. We're going for the dash up, dash back, really trying to bait out a lot of these DP situations. And again, yeah. just the movement from Defiant to open up the Soma in this corner right now. My god. Oh, no, we are twerking right now. That first yes. game, you know, for Masoma, just such a far departure from how controlling, yeah. how strong Defiant is going into round number three here. I know where I know where the movement from Squish went. It went to Defiant. Ooh. That's what happened. It was subsumed over into the winner's side, but here we go. Celestial for Masoma. What are you going to make out of this meter? Okay, good guard thrust attempt right there, but yeah, Masoma's still in control. Especially with the Celestial. Get the extra damage. Nice. Yep. You get one more. Yeah, that's another thing. You change the, uh, if I remember correctly, you change the amount of meter you actually use in the Celestial Veil off, right? Or am I just making that up? No, that's Iwex. Or... Man, Iwex is so cool. I think in, I know in Vorpal you get a little bit of a refund now. I don't know if that changes no. in Celestial, but we saw the, dude, we saw the galaxy here for the Iwex. Masoma yeah. heard all of my smack talk, said, no, 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 Deppy doesn't have the download on me like that. But we do have the big raid from Sagem stopping on by with a big old 2600 here for winner's finals of TNS Uni 2. Yo, thank you so very much. That match, Reno, of course, I have to call out right away. We're looking for it here. The $1,000 tier does get a top eight payout. A single dollar goes such a long way for these players here in this top eight. Hell yeah. Going a long way, and Masoma is trying to go the distance here. Deffy was so strong on the pressure, but when he finally able, was finally able to make his way on out, Masoma with the Iwex got so much damage. But all right, trying to play it a little bit slower here. Going into game number four, goes for the float and sees what Deffy is looking for. All right, nice. The wall rising, jump A. Yep. Ooh. Dropping the JC there. It's all good. We still have the corner situation. And lots of health for Deppy. From a big shimmy Ooh. here. Again, the movement from Defiant is really sending it home, despite Masoma having a lead right now. Yeah, made out some of those buttons, of course. Made out the DP as well, looking for that big punish. Now we bring Masoma over to the corner once again. 100 meter available. That's the DP rock. Oh, the Never forget. Yeah, you got the Kamehameha. It's not even an assist, right? You got it no. on yourself. Oh! Change to fall out Defiant. Not quite able to seal the deal yet. Yeah, because we didn't have Peter here. The route that we have was going to get our kill. Ooh. But I'm surprised we didn't go all the way. There we go. Pick up into the disc. Set another for the meaty. Float on the other side. Oh, Deppy no. locks it out. DPCS. Yeah. Deppy tried to sneak in the back dash right there, but got caught after that chain oh. shift. Yeah. No, bro, you got shot the other side of the screen. You tried to go for EX projectile, but it was so, so slow. Masoma on set point here. Looking at grand finals. 360 no scope from Masoma to wrap up the round. Okay. 360s, we got the disc waiting for you. Oh, instead goes for the air disc. Letting throw on the ground. Yeah, we at least got Bail off to get out of the corner here. Immediate yep. spin. Gonna carry back to the mid screen. Here we go, run on through. CS available. Go with no, instead, doesn't even let the DP rock. Yeah, so holding on strong. Oh, still got the A. Oh my god. Yeah, you built up the 100 meter too. Into the pogo. No, no. but it yeah, yeah, that should have been a follow-up yeah. right after that Pogo EX. Good block, but unfortunately the Fuzzy's still going to catch you. Masoba has a lot of work to do here. 
Losing out that Vorpal Cycle is going to be very tough. Yeah, you oh, got to look up for CS. Yes. Whoa, yes. you got to look up for the toes. Masoma, are you going to be able to close this out? You don't build 100 yet. Do you have the optimized rounds? Bounce off of the DP. It's not enough. Stop. Set 2A. Uh, see you later. 2A for the breakdown. All of that damage. All the close it out. Back to that one here. That hasn't uh, been mentioned quite yet. You know, since it's not loose to Semi's position. So this one might be quick, depending. That new move from Byakuya. Still so threatening, especially when we've seen it go full screen. If you have the meter version. 6 6 c is going to get whip punished from Toxic to start things off in the first significant combo. A little reset. <laughs> Triple assault into the JA. Doesn't even go for a full combo. Big Black's like, dude, what are you doing over there? Just working in the sky right there. There it goes. Sword card into the CS. Keep the pressure going. Lots of meter on the side of Toxics. No, but instead, you're going to lose the cycle for it. Tried to do a little too much. Nice. Carry over to the corner here. Oh my god, we're still working on a perfect right now? Wait a minute. That's what I'm saying with the new Milia disc as well. New move into the windmill. Toxics puts a perfect on the board there with all those shenanigans as well. You know that does not feel great for Big Black. Alright, walk out the 2 Here we go, just run up with the 2B. The move speed on this Nana Say champion. Quite strong. Go. Yeah, big Black just holding on strong to the defense here. Is fine with, you know, playing a little bit slower in that first game to try and get the download on Toxics. And now fighting back with the 5A. Yeah, 5A just real quick here. Side swap, of course, going to set up with this web one more time here in just a moment. We do have two under bar with Warpal, so you may as well. That charge back on the meter. Bro, we'll be able to set, set up at the corner one more time here because of it. Goes at the webs, EX dropped the 100 for it, and you have Celestial, right? So you can spend a lot more meter and have it all come back with the chain shift, run up for the assault. No, it's not enough to kill just yet. Goes for the hard knockdown instead, locked down in these webs. Oh no! Yeah, that was a little bit of an early dropout. I'm not sure if there's very much that can get after that point. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, chain the EXs! And yeah, it also air stuff. No! <laughs> Even looking for the claws, the throw! Brings us into game number two, Toxics. Okay. The empty throw, you kidding me? Ran up on it. A quick game number one. Towards the end there, we were seeing, oh, Big Black going a little bit more aggressive, trying to see, okay, maybe I got the download here, but Toxics, again, just brings it one more layer up. Game number two, Bull for the run up throw. Push back, nice. Try to sneak in a 2B right there. Uh, Big Black, not gonna be able to reach, but yeah, this dash up 2C does mm -hmm. catch Toxic. On the ground, unfortunately, so we've got that corner here one more time. Ooh, there we go with the 2A, just waiting for that DB to come on out. Big Black says, no, 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 you're gonna pay for that one. Right, nice. Got yeah, early tech out here. Like, wings the grid in your favor. Gotta wait a little bit for the cycle mm -hmm. to come back up. Boomerang. Okay, good awareness from Big Black. So, no, no, no. I know what comes back. Ooh, can that yeah, look at win? <laughs> you know, so the web gets the full stop. No 2A or anything to try to just break that up. But does set up right. the, uh, at least the fireball from the Nase. Trying to kind of clean it up. The winds are a blow. So nice. Able to consult right over. Damn. Speaking of, just jumps on over with the JC. Big Black. Be able to kill off of this hit if you decide to spend the meter. No, instead. Puts you into the corner. Might have been a drop there. Yeah. Hold up. Lots to do. Nice tech. Yeah, that's very difficult timing right there, especially with the uh, uh, fireball right on top of Big Black. That could have been troublesome. Nice throw. Not quite going to pick this up yet. And very cautious because of the reversal opportunity here from Big Black with 200 bar. Yeah, it's a scary 10. Ten seconds on the clock. Big Black trying to wait out the timer. Oh. All right, got the oh. bill. Here, but the 2 A, are you kidding me? We tied it right back up and just got the victory with one second left on the clock. That is a heartbreaker. I imagine what Big Black is looking for there is VO to try and get some time down and then block string you with the 5 A, but it was just a little bit too early. Toxic saw you miss the meaty and mashed on through to put the round back oh. in their round. Damn. Oh. Yeah, I got the cross under. 
quite able to get anything off of that interaction there. Tough with the 5A on the opposite side. Ooh, kind of with the 3C. There we go. Side swamp. Build up the 100 meter for a 2. Do we save it or do we try and go for the snowball? Okay, one way. Ooh. Up at the dome. Yeah. Sends the web, I guess. Goes for the veil off. Yeah. So Peter, you have a long time for this EX. <gasps> the air wow. salt again. We see a lot of times where Big Black is looking for the 2 2 C to catch you on the way down. But the right. air salt on the counter EX just comes up so huge for Toxic every time. Oh, no. Yeah, at least he can get grip broken right there. That green shield definitely troublesome. We got the yep. pushback that we were looking for. Lead is in Toxic's favor. Yeah, you're, oh, the 5 hit, but that even gets a pick up. Nice with Salt Jump C. Black, can we bring it back? No, it's a drop. I mean, you have left field right now. You do have life lead with Celestial. Oh, this is scary though, right? Because any of these hits is going to pick up. 25 seconds is an eternity. No, but instead, gets caught up on the charge 3C. That's the yes. overhead to tie it up. All right, nice full charge. You still got caught low. Come on now. Uh, I think you were trying to cancel the concentrate into the low shield, but yeah, I don't know, maybe just missed it. Just barely counter hit 5C to be able to bring us over to the corner here. And with 200% meter, I think we're looking for the triple by Boki. There we go, set it up clean. Oh, oh, I, do it. I wonder what happened there. Please not two of the webs though. I wonder if we thought a throw was coming in and Big Black just gave a full stop standing in front of Toxic. Yep. Oh, Ooh. another assault! That's back-to-back -back throw attempts gonna get shut down. Big Black putting a game on the board. Outstretched arms looking for something there, but does not return the handshake. Run up with the assault to bait out the throw. <laughs> We're 1-1, one, one, bringing us to the final game here. <laughs> One more shot here to see who advances that 2 2 option here. Brand new move for Byakuya. Oh, nice throw. Yeah, with the projectile right behind you, right? You're so afraid of the strike, but just barely the throw comes out right before. One more time. Yo, so the Yo. Projectile. Instead, Big Black says, no, no, no. You're trying to make me scared of that projectile. It's not even meaty. Let me jump on out. Side swap too while I'm at it. Nice. The corner, CS available. Nice, got our 5C. That is the open here. Ooh. Okay, slide, we can call it a reset with a web right down and big black. It's another round on the board, it's set point, looking at losers finals. Let's see though, Toxic has brought it back before. Exactly, nice, got our tech. And then throw right after the tech, you're crazy for that one. Has the web, but bail off will strip everything away here. Oh, nice, you block. block. You clear out the EX projectile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, just drop as much damage as possible. Give yourself enough room to build up the meter, especially with the CS available. Looking to give yourself as much room as possible to go back into round number three. Nice catch off the air. Yeah. TRM, no, instead gold throw. Tech yeah. Big Black. All right, this we got the shield on the super. That's 6 6 c right there. Yo, we caught out the dash C with the projectile. Again, Big Black getting caught up on the windmills every time. No, it doesn't quite kill. Set out the projectile and the air to ground. Tie it up. Final round. Okay, nice. A little shield to get that throw opportunity, too. Ooh, dash Z into the double web. Mm -hmm. Jumps right on over. No challenge from Toxic. Back against the wall now. Trying to swipe out the webs. Ooh, jump on over. Yo, that, oh, was, that was tricky on the air bud. Yeah, that was the uh, force function opportunity there to move back up to the opposite side. Or same side, rather. Yeah. Okay. Jump in. Start your turn. Another projectile available with the windmill. Ooh, sword car, but nothing doing. How many... How many assaults, bro? Oh, and it no. still wasn't enough for Celestial. I guess we were just barely away from it. it unfortunate, but still lots of grit here. Yeah. Is that purple? Nice challenge. My god. Even the hit, though. We are just jabbing out, waiting for resources to build back up. We have purple this time around, but Big Black's not making a move. This is a big one here. There 
go. 100 meters spend. Do we use it for the Weboki? Indeed we do. And in Vorpal, you get a little refund for it back, right? Still building up 100 meter, even if Toxic is able to fight back out. Should have the reversal up by then. Yeah, sitting right on top of the web. That was a great EX fireball from the jump there. Just to shut down not only the web, but keep Big Black blocking. Right, cash out as much as you can. Big Black has the reversal available. Fates up the throw, but no punish off the back step. Ooh, ooh, the three C, Big Black, no. Big Black, yeah. Got the overhead. <laughs> Pick up on the CS there. We go. Big Black moves on to Loser's finals. Drops me down. Closes it out. But Toxic, man. What an amazing run. So many opportunities where you might have been able to see that matchup happen earlier. It definitely happened. Uh, Pretty good there for uh, Big Black, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, game number one immediately runs up with the 2B. Damn, cross under, put your back to the wall, the back that was popped it back up again. Mm -hmm. Two A's. Stagger pressure and just gets out of dodge before we can try to challenge back. You've already given Vorpal to Big Black, but you have a, a good life lead to continue on here. Frame trap off of the dash, normal into the spikes. You see a decent amount of that from Big Black. Trying to stay, you know, out of range here. Push Deppy over to the corner without being too in risk of the DP. Throw, and yeah, we're able to keep it safe here. Yo! Double buff on the pillar. Yep. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, Went for the FF. That. There we go. The guard point straight on through. Consume both of the buffs here. Yeah, very good. And no, yeah, no whiff punish here on the uh, throw attempt at the assault. So, five feet. Another force function. We keep it safe. Back down to the ground once again. 2C just barely out of range there. Loses your turn. And now Spider Boy just jumping to the other side. I like the quick clear off of the ground. Yeah. Also get some space towards the mid screen and Deppy off of the CS gets the first round. There was no hesitation either. Once uh, Big Black was at a full screen situation, Deppy went for that 2A quick jump up uh, to shut down both webs and still was able to get the, uh, the low. All right, set the web right behind you. Air web, EX for the triple. No, instead, staying all the way over on the other side of the screen says, I dare you. I know you got no buffs available. Right. Try and check. I mean, you are at advantage to protect the throw. Plus eight. There we go, went two way for the frame kill. Definitely gets a cycle, 200 meter available. Lots of health to make your way through. CS waits out for a reversal, but Big Black does not bite. There is 170 meter right there. Nice block on the assault. Right back at you though, is Big Black. Bro, Miller with the charge. Ooh. Nice reversal. There it is. We've been waiting for it for so long and Big Black finally pulled the trigger. Yeah, I mean, plus nine in your face with double buffs. Big Black said, nah, I'm good. I got the meter to bring it back, especially winning the cycle into Celestial. Big Black with a lot of life lead. I think Deppy is going to hard bait the reversal. Never mind. Pull up for the throw. Nice. The FF. The IW. Wait, no, just spent oh, the double, double meter here. Yep. Go for the burn. Try and get as much okay. damage over time and it put you with the throw range. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good stuff. All right. First game over to Deffy here, rocking the Wagner. Again, it's first of three, so we got a few more games in us here, but off to a good start. Yeah, it was an interesting bet to go for double burn there. This burn yeah. can do at most 950 if it lasts the whole time. Right. So. Then again, you're already here. Seeing that life bar yeah. dwindling down, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even still, like, if you try to go for uh, infinite worth there, it probably wouldn't be killed because of damage mitigation at that point. Yeah. Missed out of the, where we ended in the combo, but anyway. Oh! What a whiff on Can't stay right out of range. 2B finds its mark. Lots of grit on the side of Deppy. De so dominant on the cycle right now. Ooh. Oh, it was close there, but still able to seal it out. 200 off the overhead. Pick up with the dash. Nice. Alright, round for Deffy here. Big Black. What's the response? Flame step. Yep. 3C pickup. Six damage for that OTG. The... Whoa! Another Don't make throw. It three. One more. Yeah, you got oh, the stagger oh, two by throw. Yeah. We're trying to bait out um, either potentially shield or just like the reversal action. Which actually yeah. we don't even have meter to worry about there actually. We just spent it, so 
now you're okay. Nice assault. There we go. Gonna pick up with the FF, dash on through. Gonna lose the cycle here, but why does it matter if Big Black barely has any health to live the rest of the round? Has to make oh, something no. crazy happen here with the CS. Yep. 6 6 B to get the pick up real quick. There we go. Spend the meter to set the webs. Yeah, you have to live here. Drop everything you can. You don't have to worry about round number three. You just got to survive this one. Ooh. EP. That's 2-0 lead for Defiant. Yep. Just complete control and still sticking with the Wagner. Potentially final chance here for Big Black. Yeah, let's see it. I don't know. I mean, even if Defi drops the next two games here, we could go back to the hide. We could go back to the Landrakia, but seeming really confident on the game plan against the Byakuya here. Yeah. So let's see it. Game number three. I think a lot of this is just you're removing chances for Big Black to have a turn. Uh, yeah. Wagner is just completely oppressive. That's a great interrupter off the bat. Yep. That 5B just to start things off. Whole stop sign you ran into it. It's your fault. Not enough for the 100 here. Can't go stop sign on the web Oki just yet, but still. Trying to throw out some buttons. Keep you locked down in the corner. Not go too crazy, but caught the extended hurt box with the DP. Yeah. Yeah, that 2C can make it called out. Got the sword pillar for charge. There we go. Both of the buffs available. Stand block on the assault. Ooh. Ooh. Dash Whoa. back on 6C, but I can't believe it. Uh, the 6 c from Big Black didn't even connect at all. Too close. Yeah, the dead zone just right in front of you. Deppy staying right at that close range. Scary. Get a punish off of it, though. Getting pushed over to the corner. Finally finds the CS off of the cycle. See, it comes through. Yes. Ooh. Oh, right outside my feet. Yeah. Scary. There you go. Dash through. Lose your turn into the back dash. Uh, yeah. That was unfortunate backdash. He lost grip for that one. He tried to steal back. What a reversal from Big Black. So off the plus nine, did not want to hold any of that. Takes away the shield buff, but still got the sword in tow. Nice. Couple shields, Ooh. nice. Dive kick comes through, but no follow up there, unfortunately. 5A tries to come from an interrupt with Big Black, but the throw will work out indeed. We'll take that grip. Ooh, I wonder if we were looking for stagger off the 5A, but instead Big Black with the hard uh, call up into the yeah. back throw should be able to kill here. One round on the board here, but still, Deffy is up two games. Only one step on an uphill battle. Yeah, that was some great space in there from Deffy. Big Black trying to make the approach with a jump B. Just out of range. So we got our charge oh, into OTG for that one there. That, I think you were still up there a little bit. It wasn't even on the ground. Yeah. Ooh, tried to go for the FF here. Drops a shield buff, but CS tried to get you matching on after. Said, no, no, no. No whiff punish available. Oh, my God. Ooh. Interesting Damn. charge option right there for the sword, as, especially after you got the pickup there on OTG again. Then we saw run up focus in your face. I have to imagine we were looking for the assault there, but yeah. still, no punish on it. Deppy wasn't ready for it. Yo. He still gets caught up on the 5B. Green shield. That's crazy. 6B was able to connect on that second hit, give it a full stop to Big Black. He was in trouble in this corner, tries to shield, but yeah, you can press after the drill here. Does yep. get opened up high. Ties up the round. Tapped on the dome with a dash follow up. Sword stack in tow. Going for the double bust. Defiant. Set point right now. Trying to make their way back onto that grand finals run back. Knocking on the door. No one's home. Big black. Just hold it on. Oh, guys. Ah! Yeah, the, oh, man, 236A, and then you just get to press right after. It's time to guess every single time. Yep. Ooh, that's so good. Shield bash, no pickup, but the FF opens you up, knocking on the door with the shield bash. No CS, so you can't quite kill just yet. Double buff. Okay, yep, we're still able to tech out. All right, back throw. Set up here, nice, 2 2 series, but still drill on opposite side. PX Ooh. drill, it's still our turn. Very chip damage isn't going to be able to kill, but it makes it so any small hit does it. The counter hit 2A sends Deppy into the grand finals. Loser's side, Big Black out at number three. Character, very interesting mechanic where we, you know, obviously sacrifice some health for some of our specials here. Blood normals are going to be real. 
Damn, the red versus blue, the blood versus sword, Defiant versus Masoma. Defi coming in from the loser's side, right? So he has to reset the bracket and then win another set. Masoma holding on strong to the defense here. Nice, the delay got the pickup after. The blood pool to do half another pinwheel setup opportunity. What a block with the pinwheel. You had to hold that situation. That is tough. Defiant was ready for it. Pinwheel's just waiting on the ground. CS into the IW. Surely there's no way it. No, it's Uni 2 it kills. What? Man. Wow, J2. We believe. What a world. I'm sorry, chat. I've misled you, but Defiant trying to lead us into a reset one round at a time here. Masoma taking the fight to you off of the empty low float. Guys, please, we already got the raid. I can't be wrong, he's gonna take away my channel points proactively. Instead, trying to keep you locked down with the disco key here. 50% down from Defi. Be taking a little bit of chip damage every way you go. And caught up with the counter hit slide. A strong lead from a solo right now. One more interaction. So we did the jump back, was ready for it. You're not gonna grab me. Charge, there we go. Caught off the stagger. Perfect on the side of Masoma here. You think Seijan takes channel points like uh, Shang Tsung takes soul? Points on mine. Is that goodbye, buddy? I'm sorry, you were you chose Rock once again, but no, instead we're rocking with a puddle. You locked down with the bomb backdash on the DP. Again, we saw that so often in the winners' finals. Now Defiant, once you have the Carmine available, right? You cash out so much on any of these big DP baits. Stealing out the cycle for it too. Projectiles, not quite enough to catch. Yep. Oh, okay. Already got a bubble. Thank you. All right, Masoma, can you bring it back? You got, you got CS on you a decent amount of meter too. CBO I W. I don't know. I mean, you do have the Vorpal set up here. Could have, but I don't think that would have. Maybe that would have yeah, killed. Maybe not. Yeah, especially that late into the combo, even right. with the minimum damage. Ooh, take oh, this guy's blood no. from downtown! Wait, you didn't finish the job to fight! They brought me back for one more. Okay, okay, okay. Pull up a single shot. Yeah, on the puddle, looking like a Morton Salt Girl. Umbrella in tow, but gets caught out on the toes with a 2A. Game number one over to Masoma. Oh, I can't believe that caught. The, the full screen That's what I'm saying, blood freeze? Are you kidding me? Bro, you already know Masomo is sweating. It was like, oh no, I guess that's the game, but still live with one HP. Yeah, that was absolutely insane that we did not get the uh, complete finish right there in the blood uh, seal. But, yeah. Different turnaround. Masoma taking a run here. There he goes. Set the air. Now going for the ground disc here. It's a grid break too. Masoma just putting all the discs on the ground here. Lunar phase raiding with a big 100. What's good there, gamers? I know you just finished up uni here, and we are finishing up with the fan finals potential. Last set of the evening here, Defi versus Masoma. Watch out, slide into the DMs, able to attack. Yeah, yeah minus frames DP, you know what I'm about. All right, all right, all right. You know That's me. cool, man. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you got it, dog. All right, another round over to Masoma here. Again, caught off of the slide. And we'll set up again. Very risky stuff to go for the skies here. Got the Vorpal, or excuse me, the bail off. Yep. Damn, but a lot of time running out on this V. Oh, yeah. just getting caught by Masoma again. Barely able to make anything out of it. I mean, honestly, we can do this as Carmine, but the other question is, like, how much damage does Carmine do to themselves? Want to call out after the chain shift? Oh, how are you going to try and get that blood back? A lot of damage taken from both Masoma and yourself. That is a second game on Masoma's side, looking to speed run it here. Kuan looking real good right now, but what about this Carmine? We still sitting with it, Defi? Oh, okay, back out to the lobby screen here. Do we see the swap? No. Straight on into it. A big raid from Big Black for potentially the last game of the evening. All right. Well, this is locked in. Yo, this is wild. Defiant is committing to Carmine. Yeah, we got the outfit swap. No, never mind. It was just the intro. Heading into a game number three. There are no outfits like that. Come on now, Jitsu. I'm I, You're I right. You're right. We got the music swap, though.
<laughs> Keep it fresh with the two. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Good take with the overhead. Yeah. Very sneaky overhead, too. Yeah. All right, corner setup situation. We got the blood. Please set this up right and proper. Here we go. Defy it with the mix. High <laughs> pinwheel. What a call out. Damn, only went for the one bomb there, staying right outside of range of the DP bubble. Flash on over to the corner. Mm -hmm. Got nice stagger pressure. One puddle on the ground here. No pinwheel set up yet because that is the threat, right? Masoma can explode right out of the corner with chain shift after pillar to keep pressuring. Now you block that empty low off of the float and still found the way after the scramble too. Daffy looking different in game number three. Full charge, not even gonna set up any of the bombs. Yeah, I don't know, but all right. You got the meter. Oh, you got it, Which... Daffy. Feeling confident on the corner offense? Yeah. I think a lot of that was that we didn't have the resources to kind of challenge back while Masoma did. You do have that life lead. You're already set up. I just, yeah. I, I, there's Oof. no way that you were going for that full charge set up there. You just said, I oh, forget it. We're good. Oof. I don't know. You let Masoma out of the corner and now fighting back here. Back up against the wall with the CS. Full meter available. Goes for the empty low on the float again. But Deffy is strong with the fuzzy blocks. Ooh, nice. Awesome. All right. Cool. Cool. Cha chaing on through. This could be tournament point for Masoma. Can you close it out? No backdash for you. That's a strong reaching button right there. JC, there we go. Full confirm from Masoma. Bring us all the way over to the corner. Win the cycle for it as well. Set up the disc. Goes yep. to the grounded version this time. Three empty lows in a row, but none of them have opened up Deppy. Masoma, when are we going high? We ain't going high. That's what it is. We're just blocking low the whole time. I see you yep. floating. There we go. Nice stand block. Whoop, whoop. A command. Cr that's what I'm saying. Get a little invul on you. Yeah. Trying to win this Michael back, but that's a lot of grid for Masoma. Mm -hmm. right, got plenty of resources. You are chipping away. Oh my god, look at the yeah, grid for Masoma. Masoma. Oh, my Yo, we didn't even care. We knew that Deppy was going to lose that Vorpal cycle, and Deppy's still pressuring on top of Masoma. There was no break in that corner pressure. The float does get blocked. Defiance defense is cracked right now until the throw. No. One prison. There we go. A game on the board for Defiant. They're off of the scramble. So close down to the wire, but we got at least one more game in the bank. Okay. Okay. We, we might have a set on our hands. It's not quite the 3-0 for Masoma. Deppy's saying, all right, to the non-believers who didn't vibe with the Carmine, we got one more game in us. I'll jump in here, open up a little early, a little bit too far away. Masoba. Maybe carried over one time. Ooh. Got the freeze this time, and now we're able to charge with the pinwheel right on top. Good setup. Go. Single bomb pinwheel. No, but DP trades. We got the pedal applied, though. Yeah, double backdash into the swipe. Oh my range on that gets you a full confirm into the quarter two with a pinwheel. Ooh, caught up with the 5A. Nice, able to snipe it. There we go, projectile catches out the backdash there. All right, Deppy got a little wind in his sails now, but Soma still fighting back here with the TP. Yep. Oh, the disc go. instead doesn't go for the low, goes for the throw this time. Okay. Oh, Staggered. Didn't confirm off the counter hit though. Was committed to the delay. Two A. Ooh, nice little teleport block. We got the backdash opportunity. I mean, so much on that perfect belt. Bro, he just floats on over Defiant every time, right? Says, no, 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 I'm going on the other side, but still, the block keeps you alive for a little bit longer. 200 meter to your name. Uh, I just cursed Masoma. I said working on the perfect, and then suddenly, the tides have turned. I didn't know I had this power, J2. That's 
That's what I'm saying. The commentator curse is real, working on this perfect comeback. Instead, sealing out the grid. I don't know, but you already got seven grid blocks. I wonder if instead we should have gone for one more bomb. Third point. Once again, from Asoma, immediately lets the EX rock from round start. Mm -hmm. With the bomb right in front of your face, backstep into the EX cancel. Oh good, keep you safe for a little bit longer. Assault right over the throw whip. Put some staggers here. Debbie, what are we looking for? Spend some meter on the shield. Just barely at that boundary for the 100 meter. Alright, got the bubble push out. Yep, DPCS. Ooh. Caught on the other side, still chilling. Ooh. Ooh. Floats on over, no, but it's not enough to kill. He went for the air disc, but instead the throw for the breakdown. Three to one, Masoma seals out TNS Uni number two as your champion.